Yes, I, a special one from the CEO, stand down with the spoon. And your boy, right in the south and back. Charges on the beat. to drop the case without my knowledge i did not drop this case i want us to go through the legal proceeding whatever judgment that come with it i will settle for it i am going to the mansion with my supporter and i'm going there to stay there until i hear from bushy ben Keita why they drop the case in the meantime my case is still standing in this in the in in, in, the, in the civil court criminal cohesion that's what i said manessi that's what i said this order the conduct and that was my file in the court and i can prove it and i ask the justice system to not fail me and give me article 25 the sanctity of contracts all those who have valid tenures who are replaced Compensated for the unexpired portion of their terms. There is a caveat to that. These are the people that need rescue right now. Why are you worry about Prince Johnson? Who is going to a Sunday you walking slow, slow, like Toto? Why are you worry about him? Rescue your nation. Look at the hospitals. Look at the schools. Bring the teachers back into the classroom. Look at the behavior. Look at the gasoline, the roads that have been built. People can't get from, from one village to another. Those are the things you promised in your first 100 days. War crime code should not be in your 100 days. Take it from your 100 days and put it into your fourth year. When you are leaving power and you bring war crime code, nobody will care. But when you have this government in your first two months, you bring war crime code, all your program will be on the mind. Now all of you having confusion. Oh, we want to we want to tie them up. We we'll get on to Ghana. Did you talk to Ghana? This was a country that spent thousands and millions of dollars. They send their children here during the war and they die here. Did you talk to Nigeria? Nigeria send their children here and they die here in this country and they continue to insist that the war in Liberia will end. Did you talk to Guinea? Did you talk to Cote d'Ivoire? You never talk to all of these people. They are against you doing what you're doing because Liberia is still fragile. We are peaceful, but we are not stable. This is not a stabilized country. Things are going on daily and nightly. This president needs to listen and to, to watch and to analyze. Well, Cranko, move it from your agenda now. Move it from your agenda. The Constitution does not allow a white man to be citizen in this country. No white man is supposed to be citizen in this country. And you know who passed the first law? It was our brothers who came from America as slaves. And they said to us, they said to the originals that they met here, they said, the white people are bad people. The way they treated us. So we came back now, we are free. But no white man should be a citizen in this country. Another question. Another and question. the other tribe, the Gola people, the Vaya people, the Mende, they said, true. No white man will be citizen. And so women is not the citizen in this one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Nuri, how are you? I'm 
Are you on drugs? No, sir. Have you taken a drugs test? No, sir. I'm a man. Take one. I'm a man. Are you doing now? Right now, I'll take one. Are you sure you're not on drugs? Right now, I'll take a drug test. I'm not on drugs. Have you have you taken drugs to go? No. The president said drugs would be public enemy number one. The president who has nominated you has taken his drug test to the vice president. Why have you deliberately refused to take your drug test? Honorable Senator, I've not refused to take my drug test. As I said, and I say again, even right now, if it's available, I'm ready to take Why now? Why are you disrespecting the president? Uh, I'm only a, a nominee. Have you done your asset declaration? I'm only a nominee. Uh, I've not done that, sir. So the president declared his asset. You refuse to do yours. The I'm president not. took drug tests. You refuse to take drug tests. I haven't refused to take drugs, drug tests. I haven't refused to declare my asset. The law requires, as an official of government, uh, for me to declare my asset. And when I become an official of government, if confirmed by you, sir, I will declare my asset. Do you deserve my vote? Yes, sir. Give me two reasons why I should vote for you. The first reason is I'm qualified. The second reason, I'm a son of Bomi, and you are my representative. I'm a senator. So, okay. I'm looking at your educational qualification. I see you have uh, academic qualification. I see you have two A degree. Then I see you write a degree of off, on off. What do you mean of on off? Honorable Senator, I don't only have two A degree. It should have been four actually, but I have three. That's what I'm reading. I brought them with me. It's uh, on my. Credentials there, you see three. One is in general education, one is in social work, one is in political science. I also brought my bachelor's degree, my honor society certificate, and those documents are accompanied by transcript sealed by the various institutions. So if you, if you request them, sir, I'll present them. You want to show me where they have for the last time on your, that the government gave us? Uh, yeah. The bachelor's is right here. No, no, no. What you give us, I see general education, I see social work. Okay, you know, brother, I grew on off. I don't know what you mean, on off. No. When I attended the university, it came up to during the war. You and I went to school together, honorable senator. So when we were at the university, the war struck us. So on and off, and then we fled. No, I didn't believe that brother was over. No, I am so saying when I you attended. You went to see together, we didn't yeah, so... Are you confused? No, definitely not. Do you have any regrets why you were dismissed after the Uh Partially, I'll say yes, because I thought I was serving my people and I was doing the right thing, and I told the truth. So he fired me. Yes, I do have regrets that I did not have the opportunity to serve the library people to the full potential that I have. And so I regret that part. But having been dismissed, I move on. What will you do differently in this new post? In this new post, what I think I will do differently is I will not be defending the government, but as such as my time of reference entails, I will be formulating and implementing policies and programs for the library broadcasting system. So the role will be different, and I'll do it differently. Do you believe in your previous post you blindly defended the government and sometimes overdid it? Or who Senator, uh, the opinions expressed more often by Liberians are opinions, and they are entitled to it. And sometimes they will say I blindly, sometimes they will say I overly. But then, what do you say to the people who support them, or what do you say to seditions that are also Liberians? What would you say to independents? They will say you did us a heck of a job. So again, it's, it's the kind of thing that you're between the rock. And the hard place, you can't please everyone, you do the best and you do it to the best of your ability. Are you a better Eugene Pagon or the same Eugene Pagon? Well, my name says I'm Eugene Pagon. Um, I've always stood for the truth. I don't think I'm a better Eugene Pagon. I just think that as you know, you get older, you get mature, you grow, you move from the other ones, you more mature. Uh, everything of me is, is getting growth. You know what happened? Yes, sir.
And everything we've said here today is not strange to them. Since the fourth session of this Senate, we have spoken about roads, we have had all of the issues about electricity. There's not one thing we've said here that we have not brought on this floor. The only reason why we continue to say it is because we are not taking the action we should take. We have the power to change a lot of what we have explained here today, but are we sincerely ready to take those actions for the changes? I think that's the kind of decision we should be making. Let's ask ourselves, now that we've come back, are we ready? Are we ready to take some actions? To sincerely take actions? If we are ready, then we're not coming here and complain because it's disappointing for us to come here and be whining when we have the power to change most of these things. Mr. Captain, one of the issues in our communication for me, for which you are here, is for us to do probity. Good governance. I know you, the captain I know, believe strongly too that it is not in good practice for you to be acting as CEO and sitting as chairman of the board. Because the CEO will report to the board if I got it right. And if you are acting as CEO and you chairman of the board, then who report it to who? So I know the, it is within the province of the president to nominate the CEO for legislative consideration. I hope you can intervene so that that process can be uh, can speed up. My question, important question is, when did the LERC pick this up? Because for about a month, the NEC have been the most massive public service institution in this country. And a parallel upon knowing that you were coming before this body today, you issued a press statement, so a piece, something, it is my view. That medical incident. That does not sit well with me as senator of this county and the people of this county including the people of this country where any students to value service. He entered because I'm aware that there is a formula and whether you are aware that the managing director and deputy managing director you go to LPR, you see the same thing, you go to Freeport, you see the same thing, and most of the state owned enterprises. Unless every scene there are a lot of CEOs, CEOs, a lot of CEOs, and these CEOs are meant for them to be paid. Very hard money by World Bank, and most of this money are loan that we are taking from uh, uh, the World Bank. Are you aware of that? And why is it their structure is different from all other state-owned enterprises? Can you answer that? I don't think I can give you a different answer to that. And everything we've said here today is not strange for them. Since the fourth session of this Senate, we have spoken about roads, Yes, I, a special one from the CEO stand coming with the scroll. And your boy, Friday the South Man, charges on the beat. Okay, so tune to Spoon to be part of our discussion. Tune to Spoon to know exactly what's happening in Liberia. What uh, was happening in the ministries, the agencies? What are the policy makers saying? This is where we bring you up to speed with the happenings in the country. We provide you uh, objective analysis on those different happenings and uh, give you the opportunity to have a say as well on those issues as they unfold. Again, I'd like to say welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight on another edition of the program. This is the Late Night Show, the Late Night Politics on Spawn. My name is Nelson Kuller, and um, thanks to our folks across the internet, we are live on 
uh, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and also on Super TV. That's for Facebook. We're live on YouTube, and uh, it's a uh, Spoon Talk Live. Thanks for joining us from there as well. Thanks to the thousands of you in Radio Lane who have joined us across the country. Um, the folks uh, at different uh, radio stations uh, across the, the rural parts of the country, even here in Montserrat County, that are relaying this program. We appreciate you. So we are here tonight. It's going to be a great show. Very spirited conversation coming up tonight. Lots of things have been happening in the country today. A uh, key amongst those happening has been uh, that that issue which happens to fall within the light line, if you may, of a uh, uh, majority of, of uh, the, the, the people who use the internet, you know. And so today there has been an internet outage across the country, all GSM networks, you know, and it has been a tough time for businesses, institutions, and even individuals in Liberia. Imagine going an entire day without having access to internet, without going online to check your status. Those who do online businesses with no sales. <laughs> so it's been a tough one today. And uh, it's been a regional issue, but it's a good thing that we are back, we are up, we are kicking, and uh, everything has been restored. So let's hope that uh, we can have a great show because Immediately when this thing happened, so many people here in Liberia, and I got some calls from, from folks abroad as well, direct calls, and they were asking, how do we do it? How is it going to happen? Are we going to have the shows tonight? And um, optimistic, but not too assured. I said, yeah, we're going to have a show tonight, but uh, it's good that we're here. And again, I want to say welcome to everyone. Um, so many things happening in Liberia. Let me just bring the folks on. We are going to go to the comment section and recognize our folks joining us tonight. It's very important. But I want to say to you uh, that please kindly share the program as you come on, on the different social media handles. So we have a good show tonight. Let me bring in the team now. I see Mr. Jalau Francis. <laughs> Jalau Francis, come on. <laughs> It's a combination of the both. <laughs> you just call me Francis. Francis. It's a combination of the both. So, 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 so. Uh, let, let, let me let me bring you next to the man, Mister. Keep Jedi. telling you, all, I'm fond of Francis. <laughs> Don't mistake me with Francis. But man, me and I not be the passion. You win. <laughs> I agree. You win. <laughs> so because you find out in Francis, I shouldn't make that mistake. Don't make, that don't make that error. Don't ever <laughs> try it again. <laughs> My man, there's a hammer feedback. A good? I want friends say why not in a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alfred, you know, Alfred is taking his game every day to the next level. Alfred, your feedback is good now. I, I think it's much better. Yeah, man. I don't know man, how you're you doing this. You. Yeah, I don't know how you're doing this, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's See, I'm still I'm still yeah. selling my mind. My man, oh. yeah, thing I be forty one I can't say it. Yeah, the thing I get all that thing I have forty one to say. No time. But I love when you can't make it. You know the problem. <laughs> the problem with Afra is we get there. No, the problem with Afra is Afra wants this setup to be very professional. He wants a good setup, but he won't pay the fees. You know, <laughs> how can Afra be calling me and saying, "My man, my man, there's a plea can't help me to sell my thing, man. Uh, let me put the fee on." Oh. My man gotta pay the fees. <laughs> the internet fee, the certain fee. Yeah, the internet fee, uh, uh, consultant say all of them because when I set it up, I'll be giving you regular, <laughs> regular <laughs> update. That's, that's, that's <laughs> uh, yeah. The the audio, audio, I know the boy can go to school too with his with his CEO your audio, too. my man. I will interrupt you. Your audio is good today, but what's that? What's that sticking on your shirt? My on man, the microphone. Yeah, I mean, Mike, the man, the man. Are <laughs> you are seriously confused. You can be using the two mics at the same time. I see the one stuck on your on your coat, and then I'm seeing another one there no, at the, no, at the I, far the, end. The I'm struggling to sell it. I'm selling it. I just try to mount it, but oh. I'm using it. Yeah. Okay. But that's a good one. But, 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 but uh, Francis, 
is always having a good audio i think that's because of where he does where yeah, i'm he using does. my phone for 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 now i'm using my phone so yeah but I'll and, then, and, about, you know. and then cindy cindy has four different setups that he's done you know so. <laughs> not for school uh, for, for, for work for you. school yeah but <laughs> imagine they make they may got one computer and one desk for work another work. one for school another one for you know but that's a good one. Yeah. but, but the, the, the advantage is once you have these kinds of setup you use it for many purposes yeah you can have a single setup somewhere and you use it for your zoom meetings in case you have a live interview you can use it for that anyway let me let me not go into the details because after listening now he doesn't want to pay the consultancy my man i'm a professional i hold a bachelor's <laughs> degree in public administration so oh my word I'm, I'm there with me. <laughs> i know exactly what you want to hear so uh it's a good thing to be here again today, man. Mm -hmm. And I want to say thanks to everyone for joining us. Uh, it's been a, a rocky day, a tough one here in Liberia. Um, man, don't forget, we gotta recognize our, our our people in the comment section. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that just before moving on. Uh, let me begin with here. Uh, yeah. It's like you, you've seen someone you, you you recognize in that comment section. And you just no, to... I have Bob Bob Cowen. Asada Dozen, uh, Moses Hutton, Bella Soiree, my boy, uh, Wilson Bue, Son Mario. Um, I also have um, Henry Kwekwe, uh, Alex Ban. We want to say welcome to the show tonight. Emmanuel Dumbo Jr., we say welcome, DJ Du or Due. I also have my own brother in the in the comment section to war up more. Um Konya Lofa. I lost her took back from my end here. Finally, I have three more people I can see here. I have Emmanuel Scott. Um I lost your stopper. Uh Mayidia Gear. Yeah, that name from Nima County. My 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 idea. My idea gear. We say welcome to the show tonight. Thank you so much. All right, let me just go quickly. There's a new ones that came in. We got, um, uh, she didn't even just keep moving fast, over, but let's see if I can keep up. Emmanuel Scott, Emmanuel Sharif, Mary Finda Yuma, Daniel B. Moyade, Tapia Toby, Justina Jojo H. Bestman, Lemino Corner, Bob Kirwan. Uh, uh, we have Victor Morgan, Leonardo F. Boba. We have uh, Ansu Kiatamba. Uh, we have Tamora Tamora. Honorable Sheikh P. Donzo. Uh, Mami Esther Tapia Mo. Tapia Tobe. Let me see if anybody knew. Yeah, so far that's it for my end. Welcome to you guys. Sandy? Oh, okay. Uh, I see anointed Prince D. Dolo. Welcome. Helen S. Clark. Welcome. Uh, Mr. Is that? Well, no, not, not, not Mr. I'm sorry. I see Honorable Sheikh P. Donso has been recognized. Sarah Mason, Sarah is here. Um, Mary Finda Yuma has been called, recognized, welcome. Moses Colley, welcome to the show. Uh, a lot of you here. Uh, Justina Bestman, welcome. Uh, Laminu Kone, I believe, has been called. Welcome again. Uh, Michael Carey, welcome. Massa Rate, welcome to the show. Regin Yuma Zabome, welcome, uh, Mr. Regin. Uh, Lorena K. Dukley, and to all of you listening to us from Radio Land, 
Some of you that we may not call tonight, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, indeed, uh, it's, it's a good thing to have our folks joining us from uh, here, always. We appreciate the folks uh, for joining us today. So, um, <clears throat> lots of things happening in the country. Um, the okay, so the internet situation is 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 one of the issues that uh, caught the attention of folks across the country today. Liberians uh, were cut off, not just here in Liberia, but several African countries were affected. Uh, the fiber cable connecting us was being tempered with but the information uh, the, the the situation has been addressed and uh, as we speak we are now connected and, and that's what that's how we even have in the show so but on the flip side uh, there has been lots of activities at the capital today yes uh lots of issues at the capital today. Uh, so the Senate, for example, but the Senate in the first place close today to be back on um on on, on the tenth of May. And so um wait, wait. you said they close to be back on the tenth of May? Yeah, on the tenth of May. <clears throat> Jesus. So yeah, so they'll be back on the tenth of May. In that period, since they opened up to now, according to the Senate pro um Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence, they were able to confirm a total of 162 presidential nominees. 162 presidential nominees were confirmed. But something interesting happened. Um, you have, for example, all the confirmations that have been going on for this week and portion of last week. The confirmation hearings, the committees reported, majority of the committees reported uh, on the Senate's agenda today, on the agenda, there was a total of 57 different committees, uh, committee reports on the confirmation hearings of different individuals. 57 individuals from the hearing or from the confirmation hearings that were held. Two additional ones were placed there right uh, during the, uh, uh, during the, uh, the, the, before the start of the, the uh, session. Two additional names from the fire service, the head and uh, that of uh, the deputy, Emmanuel Fire and uh, Mr. Warsaw ba Bavo. So um, all of those presidential nominees were confirmed today by the Liberian Senate. About 57 persons were confirmed today in bulk. And so it was not a case where you say, for example, let me look at the listing here. Okay, so you say, for example, um, Otello P. Meso, Deputy Minister for Administration, Ministry of Labor. Uh, are you here to vote? Do you vote in favor? Maybe then, then they take a vote for Otello, uh, the Deputy Minister. And then after that, then you come to the next person, uh, Jackson F. Waluba, Assistant Minister for Research and um, Ministry of Labor. No, it was a single vote for all of those persons so if <laughs> if cindy for example was a senator in session today <clears throat> and you voted yes yes for all it means that you if once you voted yes you're voting for all the 57 plus persons that um <clears throat> the vote was taken for today that the, the the different committees have reported on so Mr. Eugene Fagon was confirmed today. Um, the list is so long, I, I can't go through everything here. 
But Mr. Eugene Fagon, the LBS uh, Director General, was confirmed today. Uh, Rafael E. Donopolo, Assistant Minister for Alien Registration, Ministry of Labor, was confirmed today. Uh, let me flip through a few of them. Um, uh, 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 Kanto Diamond Sega, Deputy Minister for, uh, for Administration, National Disaster Management Agency, was confirmed today. And the list goes on. It's, uh, it's a whole long uh, stuff right here. But over the period, the Senate was able to confirm a total of 162 persons. 162 persons were confirmed. And um, during that entire, this voting process, you take, for example, uh, one of the senators. So they had 15 senators seated when the process started. Um, at a point, Senator Edwin Snow voted no to all. But then in no time, when uh, the, the, the uh, two senators and the voter canon and and that of uh, the uh, Senator James Barney walked in, and then uh, Senator Snow reconsidered his decision. But um, the vote was cast today, and they voted for all of those individuals. And so uh, they will be back on the 10th. But something very interesting is happening. So there is this debate as to whether this is even going to be the case, because at the lower house, or at the House of Representatives today, the draft national budget was submitted. <clears throat> Sorry. The draft national budget was submitted. Uh, the executive through the Ministry of Finance submitted that budget, the draft national budget of 2024, in a tune of 692 million. So that was submitted to the 55th legislature. And so, uh, it's going to take on from there. What's going to happen next is that the uh, this this process is going to take off. There are predictions that the House will be called, the Senate will be called, because at the end of the day, there, there's got to be a budget hearing. Those line ministries and agencies that have been captured, they will have to come up to see exactly um, how did they spend what what. Uh, was allotted to them, you know, and 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 why should they be given X Y Z amount that has been captured in the current budget? But the draft national budget was uh, uh, submitted today, and so that is that. But very interestingly, the GSA, the General Services Agency, the newly confirmed boss of that entity, Galapata Kotima, um, that's where. Madam Miribro was, she used to be there. She made some significant contributions to that entity. Madam, Madam Miribro, uh, sorry, the, the new head of the institution today threatened administrative actions against past government officials who are in illegal possession of public properties and assets. And so according to him, action will be taken against those individuals the people who still get government car and some other things belonging to the government though they're not in government uh, but they are in possession of those items they will go after them they will not hold back so he vowed to retrieve uh without any form of witch hunt government properties um even the license plates. There are some people who would give the car over, but they would they will take the license plate. So once you're driving on that plate, it carries RL or something. You know, you are giving that deal courtesy and all of that. So they will retrieve everything. Um, and then um, the asset recovery team. We were here last evening. Was it the last edition of the show? We were talking about the asset recovery team. Today, the president met with the team. Uh, from from all indication, it doesn't appear to be a case where the president is backing down or listening to any any suggestion or whatever with respect to this asset recovery team. The president seemed to be very, very intentional about everything that has been mentioned uh, with respect to the functions uh, 
of this uh, particular asset recovery team. He met with them. I want to share a very short video here uh, when the president met with the asset recovery team, a very short one. Then we're going to do our openings and go into the discussion.
Okay, so uh, we have to move on. I just I just thought to uh, bring a little bit of that. Uh, the president meeting with the asset recovery team. There were some very important things I would say there today. Oh, we'll, we'll move into our I want us to do our opening. I want us to do our quick opening, and then um, we can move on with the rest of the show. Let me bring Rudolph on. So, Cindy, let's hear from you. Let's hear your opening, and then we get the show moving on. Uh, Nancy, I'm looking forward to us discussing the topic, so I don't want to waste any more time. So, uh, yeah, okay. let's get to the discussion. Okay. Okay. Um, let me get Magnus to come on as well. Okay, so, uh, guys. Magnus, welcome. When I'm Princess? not finished, I get to the topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tapping. No, no, okay, okay. So <laughs> let it not be... Let, 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 let it not be... Uh, so, I'm going to wait a minute. Do put it in now. So, uh, what's... No, I'm going to wait a minute. Don't wait a minute. You got to get into the conversation too. I'm just messing with you. So, okay. I'm going to do the talk about it. No, no, what you say? So, you want to make a do pro bono? Who want to do pro bono? So, you're backstage and listening to everything. I'm listening to you. Yeah, the man. Thank you, the man. I was like, you can never enjoy it free. Forget that thing. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Uh, okay, so. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so. Okay, 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 well, I, I like us to move straight into the conversation now. Um, this issue that has to do with can we mute, guys? Can we can we try to mute? Okay, thank you. Okay, so that this issue that has to do with let let's start with uh, this whole uh, asset retrieval thing from officials of government. I'm not talking about the asset recovery team because that's that's something we spoke of yesterday. Uh, we may uh, brush on that a little bit, but with the GSA and the statement coming from the current head of that institution going after officials of government who are in possession of government assets, uh, is this something we should be doing in the first place? Now, because if you go back a little at about this time, six years ago, this was this is a similar thing we had when um, former officials of government were not willing to turn over items in their possession, vehicles. We had a situation quite recently when when some vehicles belonging to the government were driven and, 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 and parked in, in some isolated uh, locations, uh, there was one situation where uh, folks had to be alarming about, oh, there's a government vehicle parked here and, and another one parked at the other end. Is, is, is this something we should be doing in the first place? Uh, is this, uh, can, can this be attributed to weakness on the part of the line media agencies say for example the gsa that's supposed to track all of those things after making procurement and all of this thing but you track uh those different assets or is it i mean let's 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 have some conversation around this now the head is saying that he's going to take administrative actions against people who are in possession without any form of witch hunt they're going to go after them now Let's hear your take on this. Let's begin with you. Uh, okay, let's start from uh, Alfred, then we move on. Yes, Nelson, I think um, we have reached to a point where now we need to be calling a space speed. Government property is government property. We have to realize that 
to serve in government is a privilege. It's not a right. Nobody, nobody has any kind of dominant right to government property, right? So if you if you had an opportunity to serve your country and your your term is over, turn the government property over. Why should a, a, a CSA, CSA boss be threatening people to retain government property? Why should he do that? He should not. Because the GSA, uh, the GSA, rather. The people should be responsible, my man. We are now in the twenty-first century. If you are giving your government card to to to, to do a, a, a you know a, a special function, your term is over. Turn the car over. It's just simple as that. He should not be running behind people to turn government car over. But again, this is a country that we have had. This has been a situation year in year out. People come in government. The the, the culture of impunity has. I mean, it has crippled this country to the point where. Everybody take the law into their hand. There is no confidence in our governing system. That's why you will see a GSA a director will be running behind people for 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 for, for government car. I tell you, can't in the West. Uh, can't uh, uh, listen, listen, uh, Alfred. Is it fair to blame this on maybe the GSA, for example? Because uh, there, there was a time when Madam Mirabar came up with this policy with, with this uh, enforcement where. She said government vehicles were not to be, even be seen in the streets at entertainment centers once it's past that we working hours. PM, PM, mm -hmm. I can remember. Mm -hmm. So, Nelson, um, if the question you ask whether or not we should blame everything on the, the, the GSC, look, government is a coordinated effort, yeah. right? The policy should be followed. The GSA has a policy on government property. And this policy is spread throughout government. So say, for example, the Ministry of Finance, right? All the cars over there are registered, and the policy is supposed to be implemented by the Ministry of Finance. GSA not supposed to be running to the Ministry of Finance and running behind people. The Ministry of Finance is supposed to seize the opportunity to make sure that the laws, the policies, as it relates to government property use, should be implemented. But I can tell you for sure, over the last 176 years, the, the culture of impunity of stealing in our government system, nobody has been booked. Nobody has been sent to jail. Nobody has been made to pay for government property. So as a result, people take, take the law into their hand because we have never done it before. They will take government property and just walk free and nothing comes from out of it. That's why the other day we say, yeah, Liberia thing and go one week. After one week, it died down. Recently, we were talking about can it permit me to, to throw this into this conversation? Recently, we were talking about uh, uh active member of the AFL women uh, uh in the street. Uh, 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 uh some would say they were, they were protesting, right? The president of Liberia instituted a committee to investigate and gave them two weeks. That it was just had on the on the radio and in the country for one week after one week. And some of us who still talking about it. The president that we brought up power, he can up for two weeks. Up to now, we have not heard anything. No, 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 no. Alfred, Alfred, maybe, maybe you you may, may missed out on that because uh there was the the the, the committee uh carried a report. They they did an investigation, whatever, and filed a report uh before the Liberian Senate. And I remember I was there that day when um the report made it on this the agenda for discussion that day but um the senators then decided to take the findings of the report to an as uh, closed door discussion because of the security nature you know so uh that's but what well, we are getting well, well, that well, well, is yeah, what, what, what we are trying to make the point i was trying to make our uh, nursing is that as a people over the years, we have not been serious to really move this country forward. That's the point no. we're trying to make. We don't respect our laws. We don't follow our law. We just do anything we want to do. Liberia is the only place. Liberia come outside. When Liberia come out of Liberia, they see themselves as you know law-abiding people. But when they but then they touch our IA, I don't know where the spirit can come from. It will just consume every one of us. They will just do anything we want to do. You Thank know? you. So sometimes I'm asking myself, I say, if this country had gone through colonial period, we would be the way we are. I, I doubt it would not be the way we are.
Uh, Thank you, Alfred. Let, let, let's hold you then and, 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 and bring uh, Francis in. Francis, go ahead, sir. Let's hear you on this. I mean, this is uh, just the country we find ourselves in. I mean, where people feel entitled to um, to things that don't belong to them for the mere fact that they work in government. But also on the other end, like Alfred said, I mean, culture of impunity. People will do stuff and they get away with it. And like when people, we all talk and uh, no, no action. So we will keep saying this, uh, saying this. This administration is the last bus stop for possibly any kind of change to happen in this country to make sure our country is on the right path. President Barker hasn't made a decision already 2020 now, but we all sitting here saying that we, we, we can assume that he will not run. So he has no obligation or no tie to anybody to say, oh, I want to cozy up to them. He can now put his foot down and take some drastic actions and, 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 and let fire on all these government officials, make them know that he's serious, fire people like Donald Trump changed uh, his administration, that like he was changing his clothes. The, the message will go. But what get people the goal to think that you have to be run after. What make people even brave to script the pain from on the, the vehicle to try to disguise the vehicle so that it's not recognized? That's a serious problem. And we have to look at the fact that somebody can do that. And other people can refuse to bring it. And then you got people. Why we got security in the country? Why we got security in the country? Send them to the person's house. Put chill on the person's door. You don't bring a government property, you can sleep in your own house. Trust the so, 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 Francis, do, 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 you, do, you, do you intend attributing this to the weakness of the system? Or is it just the lack of patriotism on the part of some of those individuals who have served in government? It, it, it's both. And, but I also blame it on, on the system because they say the child is only allow, can only do what the parent allow him or her to do. In the house, if you live it, my dad used to tell me that growing up, I used to like go to church, but then he says, So long you are in my house eating my salt and pepper, you'll go to church. So, if, so long you work in the government, you work at the world pleasure of the president, and you work, and there's rules, unless the rules are not uh, implemented, you will do what the government uh, say you should do. But because this thing happens, say, let's just leave it, we'll put in the budget, next, next budget to buy a new car for the person. Then the person that comes down when they leave to the ticket, they just leave it. We'll put in the budget. And every single time you do this, we do these things, we are hurting the country because the money, and that's what we're kind of bad for these uh, incompetent criminals. That's what we're car. 70,000, 80,000. When I, that one person car can buy maybe three cars for uh, for police officers. But buy from one person, then they take it, they leave it, then they buy a new one for another person. Stealing for the library people. Because I'm stealing for the library people right there. So they need to they need to uh, do something. You bring the car back, we'll come to your house. We'll seize your property because you stole from the government. That way you don't even need the other thing. For instance, you're working at Common Ministry, you will sell a car. Where is the car? You don't have it, we'll seize it in your house. Until you bring the government car back. Point blank Pira. But they don't need business. Wow. Thank you, Francis. Uh let, let's show you then and, and, and uh, bring Magnus in, then we will go to uh uh, Cindy, Magnus, go ahead. I think, uh, Nelson, I think the whole issue of, I mean, for us to even sit here and be discussing, oh, people don't want to bring cars is, 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 is disgraceful and it's a shame. The reason is, I mean, Nelson, the, the failure to, for, to get government properties is, 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 is based on proof, right? The system, the failure of the system and, uh, uh, people who are also unpatriotic, right? Nelson, I was in Ghana in 2016, and I will narrate a story to you. The director of the institution I want to train at, that guy, we asked him because we were just going there, we didn't know our way around. We asked him to take us to the mall for us to get a few stuff, right? The guys took us to the mall. We stayed at uh, at the mall, and it was after five. As soon as, as it was after five, the guy parked the institution vehicle right there, and he took a taxi cab to go home. 
Nelson, I was like, wow. The reason is because besides him, besides him knowing that there is law, Nelson, he also has the mind that this is a country's property. The way we the way we attach value to government properties in Liberia, the way we the way even the common people think about government property in Liberia. You know that you know that even on the street, people prefer to take trash from their houses and put it on the street. The, the mentality, the mindset. Nothing this thing shouldn't be anything difficult. GSS shouldn't be running after people. You're supposed to come minister, okay, ministry, education ministry. How many deputy ministers? How many person get car? How many CEO get car? Everything listed. By the time election is over during that transition period, you start taking stock of the cars. You start taking stock of, of the car. If the deputy minister for education or for teacher education or for whatever, he, if he doesn't bring his car, I'm just setting an example. I'm not saying he, he did not bring his car. If he doesn't bring his car, I mean, Nelson, like, like Francis was saying, go to that ball house and carry him and put him in jail until that car can appear. He not live in the jail house until the car can appear. If you de if you start detaining people like that, Nelson, I I bet you, you will not even have to ask people to bring cars. They will start bringing it by themselves. But now, see, since, since the election on November 17th, since JMB inauguration, what noise have we been hearing? The last time they quizzed the, the former GSA director, uh, Madam Bro, what did she say? I don't want that. I mean, so go be running behind the children for a car. I don't want that. It's a shame. It's not just about CDC government. It happened in, in the government, the, 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 the Manasari government. There were people taking car and crossing border overnight. My brother, if you're president and people taking cars and crossing border overnight, just if I'm president and you take car and cross border overnight, just change your nationality. Go Guinea and just stay there. Because as soon as you're crossing back, I will be putting in jail until that car come back. You're not getting anywhere. No, we need to be serious in our in, in, in our country. Nelson, before before I, before I go, like I think it was some part of 2018 or 2019, a Ministry of Commerce Jeep, brand new Jeep, brand new Lexus, what the Nissan, brand new Nissan. The guy was driving our car. The tire was flat. That guy was still driving our car on the rain. Right at Kizido Kizido Church, he entered the fence. When he entered the fence, very drunk. Is drunk. We seize the car for you now. They will say you are not going to get in the car. You can't treat government property like that. The tire is flat. The two front tire flat. The guy is still driving that car. We don't. Wow. We don't treat. We don't treat. I mean, we don't treat state property. People pay taxes for those things to be bought. If you are using it because you are in certain position, use it with respect. Look at people cleaning offices, decks, even office desks, people, people running office desks. Really? I mean, it's, it's sad for Liberia. And the only thing, we need somebody with a political will. And as the president has started, we know JMB to be the person he is, he's going to follow it to the letter. And everyone who took government property or anyone who occupied government property illegally, We'll be about to book. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, Afra, I see you want to make a quick point, then we move to uh Cindy. Yeah, I want to make this quick proposal to uh, Ambassador, Ambassador Wakai. We need to start activating or uh, rebuilding new prisons around Liberia because the only way, the only way our law will be enforced, we need to bring everything on deck. These people that are passing our government cars, you, 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 you get the thing over there, we're not going to be. What in more arrest in your prison now? We need to build prison. I mean, this is serious. We need to build prison around the country so that people will know that we're serious for good governance. When people do the wrong thing, you penalize them. Next time, thank you. Away. Thank you. Sandy, let, let's hear you on this one as we try to transition quickly. You are muted. Yeah. The issue on this thing, I mean, the issue, uh, Nelson, is two things happening here. One is that, unfortunately, we have had people in government mm -hmm. that I see 
public service as an area to enrich themselves overnight. Uh, very unpatriotic. Uh, goes there to you know for themselves and not for Liberia. And that's why you will see people leaving government and they will even take the office debts. You will see people leaving government, they will enter, I mean, empty the entire office, right? Uh, the computer, the decks. And if a person was given a vehicle to ease their movement, uh, to make transportation easiest to do government work, they take that for themselves. Now, seeing that we are going a little ahead, right? Let us start with when that person is in government. When you are in government and a government vehicle, for instance, is given to you, it should be only utilized when you are going to work, when you are on government duty. Not when you are going to your girlfriend's house or when you have to go see grandma somewhere in Grand Gita and putting that car through mud. And then the Liberian government potentially will lose that vehicle. We have to have systems in place. So that's the second part. Folks that are not patriotic abuse the system. And then systems that we don't have in place or system we have but are not working. We need to have system in place, laws in place, practical laws that we will enforce to ensure the government properties are not being misused by those in government or by those we give those vehicles to or whatever the properties are. When they are not being misused and we ensure that they are not being misused, then the second aspect is what we're talking about tonight. When they are leaving government, we have records of those uh, 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 government properties that were given to them. Mm -hmm. Then we get them back. Before they even leave office, or when they, yeah, but but Cindy, the, the, the other aspect of this thing is some of the very people who you're talking about uh, when they are leaving government and all of that, I'm some of those people are key decision makers, some of those people are heads of entities, ministers, deputy ministers, you know, directors. They control things at, at those entities, they are not maybe ordinary employees are those uh, places where maybe you say the bosses tell them okay park the vehicle take it this way no they have authority so how do you ensure that someone of such influence someone who occupies such a position doesn't get away with government assets or properties we give them the authority we give it to them, Nelson. I know a place. I'm not going to call name. I know a place mm -hmm. where you can be the vice president of the country. It can't happen. You can be the Senate, the president of the Senate. You can't do it. We allow them to do it. We have laws that govern mm -hmm. our country. No one individual, whether senator, representative, whether minister, is above the law. The problem is that we have not had leaders strong enough to enforce those laws. Now, now, now Cindy, let, let's, 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 let's take a look at this aspect. Madam Mirabro, in our country, here in Liberia, is noted for being, she's been noted over the years as being one of those public servants who have always made significant contribution wherever she went. She went at the GSA at a point I remember that I remember visiting that place because I think they have some uh, canteen or somewhere there, you know, yes, some canteen. And then we had gone there just to realize that I saw a canopy pay because I had not gone there for a very long time prior to that particular day. I saw a canopy right before the place. And I'm asking this person about what's happening here. Why is the canopy? And this person said to me, that's, <laughs> that's the director general's office, but I'm very broad. It kind of been right, right at the entrance or somewhere in the yard of the GSA. That's where she was working from. Going after this individual. Oh, mommy, you're coming? Why are you just coming to work? You know, but with all of that, this place still turned out to be this way. 
The same thing that happened six years ago, about this time, when the CDC government took over, when people were escaping with government assets, not wanting to give back or, or, or turn over those, 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 those uh, assets that, that were in their possessions, this is the same thing that's happening. And now the question is, how come with such a tough administrator in that particular position for the past years, with all of what we saw her do, how come we still go back to the same position? How come after six years, we're still experiencing the same thing? So there's the thing. You have Mary Brown who understood or understand what she's supposed to be doing. Mm. She knows her, her job. She knows the responsibilities that come with the job. She knows her function. Mary Brown was not giving the authority, the security to back her up to enforce the law. Mary Brown know her job. Mary Brown know that Sandy is not supposed to be driving government car after work. But Mary Brown does not have the security, the backup to enforce, to ensure that Sandy passing on Broad Street in the middle of the night going to see his girlfriend. You know, Mary Brown don't have the security to stop Sandy. If Mary Brown should stop Sandy, Mary Brown would take Sandy or take the vehicle for Sandy. But because in Liberia we have this thing, I'm a minister, do you know who I am? Sandy will get out of the car and say, Mary Brown, do you know who I am? I'm the minister of finance. I'm the deputy minister. I can do anything. What will you do to me? Mary Brown place a call at the Ministry of Justice or even to someone above Sandy. That person will say, oh, okay, leave Sandy, man. You know, yeah. and, and, leave Sandy, and, man. And, and, and somehow, Sandy, because let, let, let's face it this way. I don't know about now, but when Mary Bro was ready at that, you know, that Mary Bro that Liberian, Liberians know, right? She wasn't that person who would even take a phone call. Maybe it's the owner. List to talk about you being in some violation and then she 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 goes to you and say, and then you tell her you know who I am. She's noted for physically assaulting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Liberian Senate, if I can, I stand to be corrected. I mean, the I Liberian Senate, I'm not even told you about. I'm begging you to talk, uh, Rudolph. The Liberian Senate called Mary Broad to answer the question why she should not be here in contain what she was doing. Yeah, that. yeah. So, the problem we're talking about. And not just on the on the lower level, at the level of the Senate, we do not follow our laws, my brother. Thank you. You know, and we we are about to go to that Senate thing, but 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 thank you. Um, uh, Sandy, you've learned it, right? So let me quickly learn. Let my man Rudolph come in. They're saying we need we have the laws in place. We need people like Mary Bro who understand their responsibilities, mm -hmm. and then we need the government to back. Strongly back people at Mary Brown so that they can do their work to the fullest. But I will end on this. It is a shame on anyone that come to public service with the intent to steal from the Liberian people. That Thank car you're you taking, that computer you're running away with, that office desk has to be replaced. The money being used to replace that could go to the hospital. To go, to go to the school. So it's Thank a you. shame on you from stealing from the Liberian people. Rudolf, please come in. Rudolf, if yes, someone as tough as Madame Mary Bro could not change the system, um, after six years, we're still going back to where we were when people were refusing to turn over government uh, asset. Do you think, now, with Galakpata Kotima, the new head of the GSA coming to the picture, saying that he's going to take administrative action. They will not relent. They'll go after individuals. Do you think this, we're going to see a change of system at this time? Mayor yes, Brown, as tough, as tough and everything, it didn't change. We stay here after six years. Yes, then, uh, I mean, on this one, I will say yes, and I will have to agree with what Sandy said. 
Okay. You know, it's one one thing to know your job, and it's one thing to have the backings of those who gave you the job, mm -hmm. right? We just left. Um, we just left a CDC government where, I mean, like from the top to the bottom, I mean, people were doing their own things. Now we have a new government, somebody who is very high on on law and order, JNB. Mm. Even you, Nelson, if you are given that post, you will you will succeed because you will have the backings of the president. Let's go back to two thousand. Like let's go back to Madame Salif time. That and, and that is the time where we saw Mary Bro doing her best because yeah. she enjoyed the backing of the president. When Mary Bro was in action, we saw police pickups. We saw PSU. We saw ERU behind her. She will not come and tell you, say, do this, and, and, and you say, say, you know who I am. No. They will take you off your, your feet. I'm not, not telling you they say. I witnessed some of them. So, yes, I, I will agree with Cindy. And, and back to the issue, Nelson, you know, um, it's clear that it is very, I mean, it is very irres irresponsible on the part of, of, of these government officials not to, to turn in their cars and stuff like that. But, you know, one thing is that... Um, I'm a firm believer that humans are humans are inherently good. The problem is we are shaped by society and by the system. That is why it's important to to pay a careful look at the, the system and at society, right? And and that is where law and order comes in. You know what I'm to a certain extent, I feel like this was a failure more on a part of the former government. Thank you. Because, because I mean, because we humans have been shaped by society, that is why it's important to enforce law in order to get us back on track. And this was not seen from the past government. Now we are very optimistic that JMB is going to make sure he gets back all of those vehicles. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, I, I want us to make a quick transition now. Um, today, the president, uh, the president pro tempore of the Liberian Senate, Madam uh, Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence, disclosed that they have, in total, confirmed 162 presidential nominees. Today alone, okay, so let's let's do this. And I, I want to be straight on this one. At the Liberia National Fire Service, just the other day we were here discussing the, the Liberia National Fire Service, you know, and everything that's happening in the country. Two individuals, uh, Mr. Wessa Bova, and also my own brother, Emmanuel Far. Those guys were nominated at the Liberian National Fire Service. Like what we saw with other officials, or let's say other entities, those other nominees, there wasn't a hearing, an open hearing for those individuals. In fact, there were debates today about whether or not there was hearing for those guys. The next thing that came into the picture was, oh yes, there was a hearing, but it was closed door. Now, the names were, weren't even on the agenda, on the listing of people to be voted for or to be confirmed today, but they were confirmed overwhelmingly. If you ask Liberians now, in and out of this country, who follow the workings of the Senate, they will not tell you a single line with respect to what those people say they would do at the Liberian National Fire Service. Okay, now let's forget about that. You have about 57 persons that were confirmed today. The Senate pro tempore said they are, they've confirmed a total of 62. But is there any reason why there hasn't been any denial so far at the Liberian Senate? Is it that 
President Bwakai or all the people that are assisting or associating uh, or associated or maybe lobbying for these nominations? Is it that the people are so perfect, so on point that they're just getting the right people and those people are just making the case before the Liberian Senate? Or is there anything going on here? Now, no one prays for denial. No one wants Liberians who are qualified and competent and in the right position to lead uh, their country to be denied. But these are things that are part of the activities. These are things that will happen. All right? Is there any reason? I mean, I may not... I may or may not be right on this one. But let's 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 have a conversation around this. Is there any reason why no denial so far? Uh Emmy, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on. Our brother Mikhail, thanks for joining us tonight as well. Let's let's start the conversation with you, Francis. The, um you see, it also, this is show me a friend, I'll tell you who you are, right? It also comes to character of the people that we have representing us. Yeah. How do we uh, 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 confirm a guy, the, the eternal affair, the guy for eternal affair, I mean, I call himself a rebel, he said you're going to, 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 to murder somebody. Yeah. Falabu. Right, on camera, broad day. But the Senate uh, confirmed him. How can the Senate not confirm you? You got Prince Justin as senator. You got uh, 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 what's the guy the Tomlin Nimle or whatever. Thomas Nimle, yeah, yeah. Thomas Nimle, yeah. He just uh, 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 elected him as senator. So you got rebel discussing rebel to be confirmed. Uh, uh, the that rebel not some of those people, some of those people have been refined, you know. My man, my man, my man. Uh, they are not rebels as they were yesterday. No, 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 no. You see, that's the problem with our country. If we are going to be beggars on the world stage, say we not accept it. We say let me mm -hmm. beg us. Let's continue to beg the international community for the rest of our lives. Then try to respect yourself a little bit and put yourself in a position that if mm -hmm. you're going to beg, she's going to look at you. But if you take all the criminals there, all the people that have bad character and put them to represent you, that means you tell the rest of the world, this is me. I'm a criminal too. I like it like that. You say the third in command to be president or felon that did prison to two years prison can be a speaker. Then you say Prince Joseph Macau for 27 years. You then you just elected uh, Thomas Nimle Yaya. Then you you confirm that uh, God I call himself a rebel for internal affairs. What are you telling the world? So what I'm saying here is all the criminals that I will put in, in the legislature, they're not going to, to think anything serious. They, they're not look at you usually talk about 56 people got confirmed today. They talk about behind closed door. Was there any national security implication? Uh, uh no, no, it, 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 it was just two of those, it was just two of those uh nominees that allegedly or reportedly got uh, uh, had a hearing beyond closed door, but the rest of the guys, uh, their hearings were held by the different committees, and those committees reported, and then it was based on that that a vote was cast. Let me tell you one thing: our sin, our people are not serious. That legislature need to be dissolved because they're not serious. How, are you kidding me? All these people with, with check out character come in front of you. And you just show both because you want people to hear you talk, and then you just confirm every single one of them. What what what's the character? But, 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 Chris, 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 let me ask you this question. It's, it's a two-way street, right? You go for confirmation hearing, or you are nominated by the president. It's either you get confirmed or you're denied. Yes. You will get confirmed if you are that person who will make the case convincingly convinced, as the guys at UL campus will say, and Magnus know how, how they used to say that thing. Convincingly convinced the legislators that you can make a good uh, director or minister or deputy minister or what have you. Let if you cannot make is. the case, then you should be denied. No, but that's the question, Francis, is, 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 is
any denial so far. Nelson, some of the people that went if that got confirmed because uh, our legislators, our senators, they are not serious people. They just show both, right? That's why sometimes the president and two can just say, you know what? Let me just say the person. First of all, if he knew that there were serious people. They look at the image of how Liberia is perceived by the rest of the world, by the people that will go and beg. President Obama not even said a rebel to go be, for internal affairs to go be recognized, to, 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 to go be uh, 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 confirmed. But he, he know that, okay, those uh, spoilers uh, senators, they will just pass it. Thank you. I mean, Th thank you, that. Francis. Thank you, Francis. Let's, let's hold you there a bit and uh, let, let, let's take Mark Thus on this one. Thank you, Nelson. I mean, the Constitution of the Republic of Liberia is clear. The president shall nominate, and the, with the consent of the Liberian Senate, the president will take office. Yeah. I think whatever way the Senate does, the confirmation hearing is up to them. Whether they do it under the water, they do it in the sky, it's up to them. The reason why we put those senators over there, because we put them there because they are our direct representative representative that is the the impact of or the effect of our representative democracy you elect one man to go speak for you what he says is what everybody goes by if you don't like it when he come back voting out but i think if if at all if at all the guys from 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 the national fire service right where mm -hmm not properly vetted i think it's a disservice to the Liberian people with the with the disaster fire disaster that have been going on i mean the Liberian people although the senators had a right to do the confirmation whatever way they want to do it but i think the Liberian people also deserve the right to know what those guys plans are nelson just in the wake of two three months there have been more than 10 or 15 fire disasters in around liberia what are the plans? We don't have equipment, yes, but what are your plans? What do you know about what is happening? How much do you know? What are the plans? What are the risks? What 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 are the 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 the, the, the awareness you're supposed to be carrying out for people to for people to be able to do preventive measures? You know, not every time people will be taking same bucket and wasting it all. On, on, on fire so and I, I mean the Liberian people deserve the right to to to, to i mean to 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 come and, 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 and to, to listen to to those guys about internal affairs being rebel minister being rebel and what not my brother the thing about liberia is not a lot of people now who are above you and myself age now will tell you say they were neutral in our world my brother mm. now a lot of people who are around that age when they say they were neutral. The war that fought in Liberia, bro, it was both civil and tribal war. Everybody defended their own and everybody was keeping the gates for their own. If the only thing we're saying is, if you want defending your people or want defending whatsoever, you step on other people to go and answer for it. But to say everybody that will be appointed in government will be very clean, my brother, they will not be here and be seeking your call back praise. When I'm here and be seeking your your call about praise, not everybody. So 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 again it's again, it's again it's to the question again to the question. Uh, uh -huh. Why do you think there hasn't uh -huh. been any denial so far? Why? I yeah. think I think Nelson, are they making the case? I, Nelson, I think when it comes to 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 the confirmation so far, mm -hmm. I mean, so the latter the latter stages of the confirmation. Some of them have been rushed, like we see in the case of the National Fire Service and stuff. But the positions that 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 required attention, now see, I think the Senate did the Senate the Senate did due diligence. I mean, nobody came for the Senate. We saw how the internal affairs, eh, how the the the, the foreign affairs minister. Uh, 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 confirmation when we saw the edu education minister confirmation we saw the, the 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 defense minister we saw all of the the i mean the top positions right most of the positions now where you see people holding one hour two hour confirmation for now most of them are deputies and assistants but most of the top positions nothing we are here 
it took it took almost three days. The entire, in, in fact, the entire country was tuning to 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 a uh, uh, best friend anti uh, confirmation. So I think the Senate, Thank the, you. Senate the Senate, they were in nothing. If you want to tell us, say they must go and do almost for five hundred person, they must do confirmation like that. It means we're not going to fail our government right now. Thank but you. I, think, Thank I you. think most of the people who are being who are being, I think the president and the and, and the and the people who were making the appointment, they had a little mistest from the from the initial stage. But as time went by, I think they, they grabbed or they took a hold of it. And the people who are going there now are being properly vetted. So like we vet you and then we send you there. So when it comes to credentials and stuff, I mean thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Magnus. Let's let, let's leave you there. Francis, uh, I see you want to make yeah, a point. Just, just for a second, uh, because uh, you know Magnus talk about oh people, some people defended uh, their, their their people, some people committed crime. I, I, when it comes to representing our country, I can care less who was defending their people who uh, uh, committed crime. If you pick up gun in that country, nobody's thinking you get called by prisons. Yeah, I made on this platform that, yeah, we use you get called by because CDC were incompetent or defending themselves against you get lies. But if you bring that stuff here to this government, especially if JMB administration is working, we will defend the record of JMB. But if you commit a crime, you are a warlord or you are a rebel, uh, you fought uh, 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 kill people or you are a rebel, you participate in the war, we should not uh, Thank you. ignore it and uh, uh, put Thank it you. into our uh, uh, make you a lawmaker. So, so Francis, Thank you. Let's, 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 I don't want to reduce it. Just, let's, 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 just, let's, just five seconds, Nelson. But, but, but the question you guys Francis, are trying to deviate from the... Because the, the thing about it, Francis, I think you got to slow down and, and, and look at it like one perspective. Francis, I was a teenager, like I think I was around 12, 13, that early morning in Ganta when I had to walk barefooted from Ganta to the second beer. Francis, mm -hmm. people suffer, people went through hell. And if people do stuff because they had to do what they had to do, it is it, it is not, it, it was not, Francis, at a certain point, it was not a choice. Okay, I thank you. Okay, 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 you. Okay, thank 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 I was 2001. I mean, but I was, I was very young. I was very young. 2001. Yeah, was a teenager. Magnus, <laughs> I was, I was, I was very young. was a 15-year-old, 2001. So you know it is. Magnus, is that a small child yet? Yeah. 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 Sandy, Sandy. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't think I don't days. think the issue of I don't think the issue of of, of magna age have any 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 kind of. Uh, you know, I, mean, I need a question you're asking for. I'm 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 trying to bring this comedy. I'm trying to bring a little sense of comedy to the show. I'm just joking with Magna. What Magna is discussing is a serious thing, and Magna, I agree with you. I mean, I was a child too for several days. We were on the bush forest, running, not eating. We all know those stories. So, Afra, please go ahead. I'll just put in your legs, my brother. Nothing. Oh. Can have you ever come to the point to realize that your your old man cooking your food for you to eat for the house? Then they throw a gun and they take out pack. They pull it on your head. Before you reach to the next the next town, the food on your head get done. When you reach there, you eat. Have you experienced that? This is what some of our experience in the fourteen years civil so conflict in our country. That's why we are saying that the war and economic crime code is a must. Look, look, uh, uh, okay? Again, and again, we're not discussing no, war and economic we're not, crime. We're not going to die, but I just my want to question make sure. Is, okay. My Go question is, my question is, uh, why do you think that there has been no denial so far? Uh, politically speaking, um, I will tell you for sure um, that there is a serious confirmation fatigue. Confirmation there, fatigue? Yes, confirmation fatigue. There's a serious confirmation fatigue with the library. Break it down for the for the ordinary people listening to the show to who not understand that B war confirmation fatigue. 
uh, what is happening to our Senate is that they, 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 they slogan the rescue. Or what? The slogan rescue. I mean, let me speak. Let me tell my own story. Okay. Okay. The slogan rescue has made our people to 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 regain their hope. And the expectation that our people have with the Liberian Senate this time around, they believe with Joseph Iman Bwaka as the at the helm of power, they mm. believe that the right thing will be done. So most of our senators, they are actually under serious pressure to do their job. So they are tired. They are tired. So I, I, I'm trying to connect this thing, Alfred. They, and they, they, they are under serious pressure to do their job. They are tired, so that's why there's there hasn't been any uh, denial so far. They trust JMB, so that's why they're not deny. I, I I'm trying to connect to okay, connect now, everything. This is the point I'm trying to make, Darcy. Yeah. We 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 told our people that the, the former president his leadership was bad for our country, and yeah. we believe that Joseph Iman Buakai with the team that he was going to put together were going to we going was going to set the stage for a better Liberia. That's why we say think Liberia, love Liberia, and we build Liberia together. And now we yeah. go deeper into that. It does not only affect those that Joe Baker is bringing to be minister, deputy minister to the play and, and here and there. But mm -hmm. even the legislature alone, that slogan is affecting them too, especially those that are in line with JMB. The people want to see this government moving and moving very fast because we don't have time to waste. You have 176 years. You still have. You still don't have good roads. Electricity is a problem. Education is a problem. Every fabric of our society is broken down, and JMB at this time is seem to be that savior. So everybody is under pressure to make sure that they can provide a level playing field for Joe JMB and his, and his folks to to bring the expectation that the people desire. So, like I say again, the people they are tired. That's why you see they 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 they're making that group confirmation for everybody to go into that job so that they can have time to start checkmating them. Because now you know the legislature is the first branch of government. Their, their responsibility is making law, representation, and oversight. We can't be on confirmation for one year, six months. We have to start doing representation and the issue of oversight will start taking place. Okay. Because we want to make sure that our laws are effective and the government is functional enough that JMB now can have an opportunity to tell like okay. yes, so, 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 what, so, what, what I'm getting from you is at this point it's more about your go. Everybody, your go, your go. Once we have the oversight, at any point in time, we can call you guys and 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 check meet you and and put you on track or what have what have you. So er, er, it's it's a free pass for everybody now. That that's what you think? No, not necessarily a free pass. The constitution is very clear as to how the issue of appointment and nomination is, mm. is supposed to be, right? They have their role to play. The president has his role to play. I'll tell you what. There was a reason why the, the reform of the constitution said one person should have power. The same reason was that, that the government will be function, functional as fast as possible. Because no. if, you, if you look at the legislature... If you want things to happen very fast, it will never happen as the, at the level of the legislature. That's why the the, the, the freedom of the constitution said we should have an executive power where the Thank magistrate, you. the magistrate over there will be able to do his job as fast as possible to move the country forward. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sandy, you want to come in? Yeah, definitely. No, uh, Nelson. I would also give some credit to the Senate for the uh, role play so far during this confirmation hearing. Uh, I want to buttress uh, what Magna said. In the beginning, we have seen that some of the most serious positions were thoroughly vested, right? Uh, those folks were there, hard questions. Is there, is there any more serious position in government? Uh, well, okay, maybe let me rephrase. But the top notch position, okay, no position is on serious in government. Mm. So, yes, I take that back. But those high level positions, those high security positions, those positions that uh, when those individuals in the position acts affects the country 
to a highest extent, like the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of National Defense, and you know those positions. We saw that the Senate did their best. They asked tough questions, uh, and those individuals were appointed. So the Senate. Now let let us agree here, Nelson. The I don't know five hundred plus government positions will now all. It's 5,000 plus, 5,000 plus would not all be thoroughly vetted. That is part of the reality. That is the reality. Wow. It is the reality, Nelson. You can't, you can't, you can't say, you know, those line level agency and, you know, some of the assistant and the assistant to the assistant, the deputy to the assistant, you know, all those redundant duplicate positions. You don't expect the Senate to sit there and say, we're going to interview them individually. You know, all of them, they don't have the time. Another aspect we should take into consideration is that the appoint the nominations were very slow in the beginning. Okay? They were coming in very slow. So the Senate, in the beginning, were relaxed. We didn't start hearing, I mean, seeing confirmation hearing until, you know, a few weeks later, Right? The, 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 the appointment were not fast coming. So the Senate were relaxed in the beginning. Now, consider also, well, according to our constitution, the senators, I mean, our lawmakers have some break, agricultural break, and I how they call it. So we'll see that some of them coming on their farm in America, they will go to their farm in Europe, you know, instead of going to, <laughs> going to their districts and to their county and meeting with the people and talking about agriculture, you start seeing some of them in Europe coming to America, going to Australia, Asia, you know, on their farms. So now they have to take that break. They went on break today, correct? Yeah. Nelson, they went on break yeah. today. So because they were going on break today on their farms, well... They gather all those people and say, look, we need to get those people working. The government has to start working. You'll come. All of you. You'll confirm. You'll go. So that's why we start seeing all that speed coming in. You think know, people will want to say, okay, because we have confirmation hearing, we will not go on our farms, quote unquote farms. They won't do it. They will take their break. So they say, okay, you just come. 50 some more of you come, you are confirmed, go serve your government. But it is very concerning, though, on a very serious note, Nelson, that, uh, that the uh, fire service department, with what we have seen in recent time, it will be, it will have been very important that individuals going into the fire service are truly, truly vested and, you know, terribly asked questions to tell us how they're going to help fight fire and what are some of the resources they would need. It would have been very important for the fire service team to come out and talk to the, like, you know, talk to the senators, telling the Liberian people what the challenges are, what their expectations are from, this, from the lawmakers and from the executive branch of government to, in, to fight the issue of fire in Liberia. But that was not done. But again, you cannot blame one side. You can't blame the Senate alone. No, no, it, 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 it goes back to you because, uh, uh, Cindy, you just said that. You just said that. Some of the the serious positions were given. Yeah, I, took, I took that word back. So okay, top-notch positions. Thank you. So, so the, 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 the fire service, for example. Is, is it fair to say that it's now one of those top-notch top positions? Now? Very top-notch. And that's why I made reference to it. I say it's unfortunate that individuals from that team were not single out, you know. But for well, why are we having this discussion, Cindy? Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. And, and I think you've already landed. We're about to move on. But while we're having this discussion, I want to bring on something here that was posted by Senator Amara Kone, one of the senators at the legislature. He posted this on, was it the 8th of March or the 9th? He said the Senate is consumed by politics of jobs and deals in the executive branch. Deals in the executive branch. So much so that some of our rescue senators practically work in the executive mansion to push for jobs for their people while the Coalition for Hope Senators, while the Coalition for Hope Senators 
are backing about the protection of their people in the tenure positions. Why our staff labor condition are deplorable. So deplorable that the low wage earners are begging for transportation money and to uh, for transportation money to and fro the captor because they, uh, they haven't been paid for two months. These are fathers and mothers with families to take care of. This is inhumane and disgusting. Meanwhile, the Senate pastor constantly reminds us about compassion, injustice, and service to the people in their eloquent sermons during the devotion or prayers before we begin our plenary debates. They tell us about men and women who have sat in our seats before and were either voted out of office or dead to deliver, uh, to drive their messages home. The devo these devotions have become my favorite part of the plenary and blah, 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 blah. You know, but, but I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to go to, but, but this is, this is the, the, the major, the major aspect. The takeaway here, the first paragraph, the first paragraph in this realm, where he said, the Senate is consumed by politics of jobs and deals. Oh, God. <laughs> no singer harmonized. Miami. Yeah. And I'm going to give up. <laughs> but man, I start calling Labra today before I heard and he him. left the thing in front of us. Can you imagine? I know. I mean, let me spy him behind the black and be calling people near. Yeah. So, uh, who's that, Rulov? Yeah, I think I was next. Go ahead, Rulov. He left the thing in front of us. <laughs> you know, um, it is so, it is true that no, that there is no unserious position. But in government, there are levels to government officials. We have level one, level two, and so you have it. And from the, the from the look of things, I would say that in modern Liberia, JMB's appointment has been the best so far. I mean, the issue of the Senate having closed door hearing, I mean, I do not support it today, and I will not support it tomorrow. The thing is, just in time of crisis where we are, are having serious issue with fire, then you come and tell us, say, oh, they were, they were confirmed behind closed door. Here is it. I think what the Senate would have done was, was allow those people to, 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 I mean, to serve in acting roles until they get back from their, from their stuff. And then you can, and then, then you can call them for their hearing. But instead, they didn't, didn't do it. They said, oh, you are confirmed. I think that is bad. Because here is it, if we, if we say, oh, because they have the power that if things go wrong, they will call them back and, and, and what have you. I think by then the damage, will, the damage will have already been caused. So I don't support that. But again, I think JMB appointment has been top notch. For, for, and, 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 and for almost all of the year I have sat, sat for, I have been impressed. With the exception of few, and that includes Sarah Vessel Yanti's hearing. And the reason I wasn't as impressed as I as I have been, been with the others is simple. You had the entire country, the people who you represent, crying for an answer on a specific topic. And then when you reach there, Darius Delon said, Sorry, we're not asking you ask you this. We we'll ask you this behind closed door. Would that, I, want to bring it to I think no, 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 no. I think that was not fair to us because they represent us okay. and our interests should be represented thank, thank you. you um brother why were you well yeah you know the confirmation thing i think there are a couple of things the couple of factors that have been playing out and oh thank you jesus sorry guys <laughs> sorry guys sorry guys and, 
Finally. Finally, yeah. finally. And someone is <laughs> so because Nelson wasn't here. Can I go back? No, don't yeah. even try it. We already heard you. <laughs> see, see, see. Yeah. But well, okay, let me, let, me, let me use my time, man. Don't take my time. <laughs> so, you know, the confirmation, like I said, you know, there are a couple of factors that you know so that you know go on with the confirmation uh, confirmation. Some of it being most of it, it being, you know, it's politically motivated. Number one, we got people there that you know that some of them recommended some of those people to be in the position that you guys saying with the fire service department these are positions are highly politically motivated because if you think about it the people you know fire service department libraries to be one of the lucrative positions you know just for the sake of the citizen and losing their property and all that so people that go into those kind of positions that people are supposed to know better as people are so know about the job they're going to so somewhere like i said you know, the, some pol the politics in this, people know people in the areas and things happening. But most of it too have been JMB, you know, the government were going to be responsible government. You know, and some of those people that come coming on the top level position, you know, that everybody looking at, some of them are highly qualified. You know, some of them have worked around the world and they have good CV and all that resume. But some of it too, it's not every position that those senators are going to sit in here everybody you know go through the ranking files and all that and somebody just like just go you know let's see your performance if you're going to perform we're going to see it. if not because they're not out there like people will be looking at them like the top position people yeah so but do you think it's fair to the other one that went through so much uh, uh, uh screening to get their confirmation occurred? do you think it's fair that you will let other people just say oh just go through and then you the other people they were watched by the entire country and diaspora in a uh, confirmation you think well, it was the, fair yeah the, the fact that there's no you know uh low level position government have been a in government at level but equally so there's some of the positions that too they know that very significant that's why some of the people had to go through those screening process you know the tough questions because the opposition does the fire department though the fire, yeah. we all have said it here so right like i said now some of them is politically motivated some of them they through they come through the, the political means the party line and all that so you got to take that into consideration some of the very syndicates that sitting right there conforming people confirming people it was some of them that recommended those guys for whatever reason you know we don't know all the insights some happening like that you know so you got to take those to consideration so with that being said, so I guess you know they've been appointing a lot of qualified people too. So just don't feel that you don't hear much about and we're out here complaining about. If you check behind thoroughly, some BS should be behind, you know, and they let them go with all those impunity. And at the end of the day, look at what happened in Morovia. Fires everywhere, burning poor houses, nothing they can do about it, you know. So the government gotta do better, the Senate gotta do better. When it comes to confirming people, no matter what the position is, that's the that's the reason we voted for them to be Senate. That's the reason we voted for them. All those people that, were, that applied for the job that we elected them to do. So they have to do their job. It's almost like the same thing was saying yesterday with the LACC. We got the people sitting in there where we're appointing different people to go do their job. These, these, you know, those things is not right. So people gotta learn to do their job and do it correctly. You know, so that would be my take on it yeah yeah like everybody already said uh the only thing i have a problem with is the whole fire department something because the guy that came here from the fire department he had a problem with that um nominee saying that this man had no uh you know no idea of you know that position that he was nominated to and he accused him of DeLong of being the one you know that brought the guy on board and if it went the way it did you know it, it kind of proved him right yeah you know it kind of yeah. proved what he was accusing the senator of uh, 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 uh something and we have all this that's one of the places i think that everybody was really looking to see the new buzz in our area to see what he was going to do what he was intending to do and what he thought was the problem that had even though the guy already explained the problem to us, which we all know resources is 
the major, you know, but you will not know if you don't, if you haven't served in that place, right? You will not know what the problem is. You will not know how to deal with it. So it, 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 I, I do really have a problem with that, that they handle in the, the way they did. But let's just hope and pray that it all works out and from there. A couple of the things have been doing George right now. Some of those guys were, were, were conferring and we all were out here say, screaming about it. You know, to tell you that those positions are politically motivated and high hand behind those guys. Sometimes, you, you know, they're rubbing on the thing that's over with it. You know, that's privileges. You know, high level of power. Okay. Yeah. So, which is Nelson? Not Nelson, are you in the back? Okay, so anybody um, got anything else to say about that? Give me my talk on this. Yeah, Ruda, go ahead. Yeah, you know, um, I was gonna, to, I was gonna say, you know, um, it's funny how I mean, I did not even know that most of these positions that are being confirmed today, I did not know that they had to, to, to that they had to go for 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 confirmation hearing during yeah. the last regime because I feel like. This, I mean, I think this Senate is doing great, honestly, because like, I mean, from the way that um, they are going about this process and 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 to a larger extent bringing us the people into it, I don't think it has it has ever been done like that before. There yeah. are there are, are many positions that I never thought people needed to go be confirmed for, honestly, but it is happening in this this. In this government, so I, I mean, I think it's just right for us to give them their flower. Honestly, they will not be hundred percent. Well, Rudolph, what I've been okay. happening from from the legislative so, from the legislative standpoint is that uh back in the days, people. Yes, they, are you people back? Talking about? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. okay. So, so let me just end my thought. Nelson, you come in. They seen correct corruption. Thing we'll be talking about most of these positions that you see coming out today is as a result of courage from the leadership of the Senate to say. This whole confirmation thing will have to bring transparency into it. Okay. Back in the days, once the man go through the vetting, he go to the community room, he go sit down before four people, <laughs> and the MLO come to the to the to the back door, the See, confirmation finish. That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about, you know. Okay. <laughs> so to some extent, we should give credit to the, the young Kanga Lawrence leadership for what they are doing. However, but but, but 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 Alfred, Alfred, considering what what Senator uh, um, um, Amara Connor wrote, is, is there any reason to tie that to what's happening? No. You know, sometimes we we'll come on this show here, we we want to be as passionate as possible to speak to the reality. Yeah. But mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, uh, I I, I respect Honorable Connor highly. He's a highly intellectual individual. But sometimes to, to, to use a situation to, to gain political attention, I think it's not helping his political career. It's not helping him at all. Can we mute, okay. guys? Can we mute? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So like I was saying, if you, if, if you, if you, if you look at his, his red out, you can see that He's trying to get some political relevance in the in the legislature. You know, he's a freshman senator, so he want to bring because people see him from the outside as this so-called expert. He wants to bring that kind of. Well, that well, kind no, of I, I, what do you mean by so-called expert? Is is he not an expert? My man, I'm speaking politically. So let me speak to senator, senator, senator. Uh, he's uh, not, uh, not uh, speaking. Not senator, Nelson. All right, yeah. let me speak to Senator Conan. I am okay. speaking politically, okay? So I am not saying that he's not an expert. What I'm saying to you is that he's always using that, 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 that leverage that he has to gain relevance from the Liberian people. So, oh, yeah, he's the best senator in this and that, okay? It's important that we, we will be honest with the discourse. For me, I see some dissension in uh, Senator Conan's uh, accession when you talk about, you know, uh, 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 people going for a job and they're doing dealings. He's, he's not showing any evidence. There's no evidence of some of the things he's talking. To say, oh yeah, okay, I can I can point a senator, make you or the person here for Joseph Baga to appoint to the certain position, and this is the evidence. He doesn't show all that. So for me, I think that's political chicanery. That's what he's doing. Thank you. Thank you. Rudolph, uh, do, do you see any connection here? 
But I'm not we don't want that. Nelson, to Nelson, you know, I mean, they mean so when Alfred said that he is we love already had 20 seconds, Nelson. When expert when Alfred said he is not an expert, I agree. I mean, I do admire honorable corner. I think he is my best lawmaker so thus far, but he is not an expert senator. He's a freshman senator. So you were so you were right, Alfred. Thank you, thank you. But no, 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 let me answer, let me answer your question while you asked me now. You can call me over that. Why are you asking me to, to answer? Please tell me. Okay, but then since you can't remember, you, you don't remember the, <laughs> the question, forget it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, no. no, 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 no you thought that you're going to forget? I just got it, Nelson. So the thing is, you know, let's be realistic, right? All of these, these senators, they are, I mean, they got their own influence, guys. So for us to sit here and say, oh, no, they are not behind any of, of these things, would, I mean, I think we'll be trying to lie to our, ourselves and deceive the people. I do believe that a lot of them are behind some of these people that they are confirming. I do believe so wholeheartedly. Wow. Wow. That's exactly what I said. You know, I didn't get so, 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 so. the water and say uh, uh oh, oh. They, they right there. You see what's going I, on? I, I, you know, I, I want us to transition quickly now. Um, President Boakai today met with the asset recovery team. Yesterday we were talking about the importance of the team and um, every other thing uh, surrounding this asset recovery. In fact, Sentai came up with a strong position about the need for the president to dissolve that entire asset recovery team. That it, Sandy, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. You just from eating. I can see. Thank you. But Sentai said that the president needs to dissolve that, that entire asset recovery team. Just a day after we discussed that, the president met with the team. And this is what the president had to say. We will just bring a portion of uh, this one, and then we'll make some uh, analysis around it. We want to see good things happen, but we don't want to take the steps that make a good country. We want to be this and We want to be above the law, but yet we want a good country. By the time we see good things happening elsewhere, we all we want to we look down how many of the have their children in Rwanda. And we all know what Rwanda went through. They have to take commitment, they have to take discipline, they have to take love of country. And I'm almost sure that most of the countries that we're desiring to go to, the opportunities we have here are even much better. Our problem is we're not committed to build a good country. We want to see a good country and move there. I just came from Cote d'Ivoire, African country, just like ours. Much younger, Ghana. But why to go there? And everything we have here, even much more in those countries. Why they are, who they are. Is because of their commitment to building their country. Today, God has given us another opportunity. And all of us sitting around here, no matter what you hear on social media, you know what this country has been going through. Not everybody will leave this country and go. Even those who have gone, they want to come back. That's the responsibility we have to make a good country. For those living here, I swear that those who are outside who want to come with. Now, let, 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 let's hold it here for a while. Let's let's hold this conversation here for a while. JMB is speaking to the asset recovery team. As a matter of fact, everything Sinta said, JMB is blowing hole in everything Sinta said. He's seriously uh, going the complete contrary to what uh, Sinta said. Sinta said the, the, the asset recovery team should be dissolved. Well, JMB is telling the people that we want a good country, but we want to be above the law and all of that. You guys listen to him. Let's hear your take. Sandy, let's start with you. N Nelson, as President Joseph Waka was speaking, I became emotional. Chill, grab me. No, 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 don't, don't come play with us with that emotional yeah, thing. Yeah, we will hear that seriously, thing. Seriously. We will hear that emotional thing. Serious, oh, no, very serious. No, to be honest, I, I like to admit mm -hmm. I'm, I'm usually an emotional person. Mm 
that's that's real okay but his speech this guy talk about rwanda where they have come from the commitment that these people have put in he talks about liberian that are here in liberia i mean that are in liberia want to stay liberian outside of liberia want to return he talks about we have the responsibility for a better country. He talks about Africa coast and African country, but look at them. They took commitment. My brother, he couldn't have said it any better. This is what we've been saying on this show. This is what we've been advocating for. What we need is a leader who first love Liberia, who want to see a better Liberia and mean it. So forget the critics. Forget who say asset recovery is not a good thing. Forget who say, let's just do it through the LACC, as you know, your thing. I don't know what they call them. Forget who say we don't need war crime court. Forget those are saying we don't need economic crime code. When a leader is serious about making a nation better, he or she can focus on the tax at hand, not on those trying to distract them. Nelson, what Joseph Walker said today in that video is real. Ivory Coast, I spent 10 years of my life there was not this way. Even though they were making gradual progress, they it took their leader, folks that Asan Watara came in and became very strong to the book, determined to build a country that people will be proud of. Ghana, I was there 2021. Folks that used to live there, when they go back there, they can't recognize some of the areas. Ghana Airport, I got there, Nelson, I flew from Morocco. Landing Ghana Airport, I thought I was back in New York. I swear to God, I took a video and posted it on Facebook when I used to be on Facebook. Nelson, we have a beautiful country. I always tell every Liberian, I, I mean, this is not to boast, but I've traveled a lot. That's, that's, that's one thing I like. I've, I've been to more than 21 countries. And I will tell you, Nelson, we have a beautiful country. Liberia is situated in a place that is so beautiful that some of the countries that are... Rwanda should not do well than Liberia, period. What a small country on the hill, so, so hill, no water, nothing, doing better than a Liberia that have beaches. Mr. Beautiful Cindy, landscape. Resource. Mr. Cindy, I beg you, visit Grand Cayman County and go to Robert's Port. Check on the beach and look at the landscape. I will taste them on your time. That one time you get it. I will taste them on your time. Yeah, man. I feel like I have a <laughs> so oh, we have a beautiful country. <laughs> we just need somebody, a leader, who will hold people accountable, who love Liberia and want to see a better Liberia. Nelson, it will not be easy. We are used to impunity. We are used to corruption. It will not be easy. But I know from what I heard from Joseph Walker again tonight that he will do the work. Thank God I didn't vote for George Weir. I didn't campaign for George Weir. Thank God. I still stand by my position, even though I'm being beaten on every day by my brothers from Grand Jesus and from the Southeast. You now, you now you let job of Joseph Walker. You're not giving your job. You're not giving your job. At this point, I want to see a better Liberia than Thank you. Certain individual jobs. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, where are we going next? Oh, Lance, who want to involve me now? We'll go to Afra. I'll take no. five seconds of it, two minutes of his time for eating my time. Well, you, you have know, to go to um, what's his yeah. name? Yeah, y'all take me, y'all take me, please. You know, when I was listening to the president, I, mean, I was looking at the president's composure. Good, too, man. I mean, I didn't tell you, I'm going to you. to you already. Let me just give you one minute. Yeah, you know, 
You know what? I listened to the president and I saw him speaking. Look at the president's composure to tell you that you see a serious man who is sitting down and beating some sins in the head of his children and how he wanted to proceed. To make them to know that he's not just talking lip service. He's speaking from his heart. He tells our, 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 our asset recovery team that, look, in this country, we want everything easy, but we don't want to work hard. And that has suffered our country. That's why when you go in places like Africa, look at the person making mention of, I just went to Africa. That's deep deeper into that statement. I just went to Africa and see what Avoris are doing for their country. We are very close to Africa. Look at us. But every day we see, we talk about Rwanda, we talk about Ghana, we talk about America. We can't talk about ourselves. What is happening to us as a people? That we we see our country to just be a place where people can just go and reach themselves and leave. He reach himself and leave. And that is the reason why I'm very happy that I, I can be for a Joseph Yuma Bakai presidency. I am very hopeful that in a not too distant future, we all can gather together to say, yes, we made it, we did it for a better Liberia. Thank you so much, Nelson. Okay. Thank you, um, Rudolph. Okay, okay. You see, I am lawyer for body. I was, so, <laughs> I was waiting for you. So, um, I mean, huh. you know, guys, during the campaign time, there were many times that I was asked, right, why is a young man like you supporting an, an old man? And every time I was asked this, this question, my response was the, the same. I said that the presidency is not of a soccer match or a heavyweight championship where you need the young and energetic to bring forth results. I told them that what you need to change this country or to change Liberia is a leader who has one, love for country, two, vision, and three, courage. And as I was listening to JMB just now, I mean, I, I know when Cindy said uh, he was emotional, you, you thought I would joke. Even me, I, I mean, I felt it. And you know, I was emotional, but then I was, I mean, I was like, I was also regretting. Why is it that I wish that this man had age in his favor so that we can amend the constitution and give him at least age. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. Relax, relax. Don't bring, don't country. bring that unconstitutional uh, 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 thing here. <laughs> no, we have, we have, we have folks watching the show from across the world. Do that. No, I'm just saying something, right? I wish this man had age. So we can no. I say amend. I'm not saying it's not unconstitutional. Though you can amend the the the, the constitution. You, you can do that. It's not anything against the law. So I wish we could amend it. But, but, but and Rudolf, him, Rudolf, and but, but, at least honestly, years. Honestly, but, 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 you are sounding like the seditions. You are sounding like the seditions few years ago. Nelson, Rudolph. Nelson, Nelson. If me wanting peace for my country. Makes me to sound like a citizen, then, then, I, then I am a we ask them. Call me any name. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go but ahead. That's a serious thing. That is my only regret. Thank mm. you, guys. You're ready to come out to us now? Yeah. No, after, after the bottom part, then we'll come back upstairs, right? Okay. Yes. Let's oh. finish downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we downstairs with yeah, you, my man. But, you know, in my critical thinking class, my teacher told her once that when somebody is speaking, listen to the keywords in the, in the speech. And one of the keywords, two of the keywords I took from this speech was, you got to be committed to anything you do in your life, not just, you know, not just your country, anything that you put yourself through in this life to do. You got to be commitment is the keyword, one of the keywords in there. And they probably make it explicit. He didn't go compare Liberia with no European country. He said, look around you. Look at Rwanda. Look at Arico right across the street. 
why we can't be like them? Why are we still like this? I'm selecting you, God, today, appointing you, God, to these positions to do exactly a favor for Liberia. And if favor, do not do it on any content. Do it for your country. Do it for your do it with your conscience. Do it with your integrity. These are the words he's speaking. And he said, don't listen to the social media thing. I'm here talking to you as your president. I want you to do a piece of job for this Liberia. Do it and do it right. So these are the things that, but, but, I mean, he's it, 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 speaking in, 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 in parables. The words he said, he's saying one of me a lot. So, I mean, I personally was saying last night to get rid of those guys that working at LACC to pull the. Did you, did you change your mind? No, it's not really changing my mind. My, my, my thing is, we can't have them there. Why they're not doing the work? We can get them out, put the same people in that position. They do the work. On the same frame, because that's that's what our entity was created for, to work for librarian people and get rid of people who are taking librarian resources and using it for themselves. But they're not doing the job. Those guys are not doing the job. Why are they there? That's my only thing. But it's not just that it's the group. But 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 the president is speaking wisdoms, you know. So that Liberian people be committed to that country, love Liberia, love build Liberia together. And he said that people out there, that people in Liberia want to travel, and there are people out there who have traveled, still want to come back home. Why we coming too? We still want to go home. There are a lot of people here that I know old folks from Liberia that still always want to go back home. So with that being said, those people have been appointed to this position, they got to take this position seriously. We didn't put you there to make money and just walk out. We put you there to do a piece of job for the country Liberia and to hold people accountable for what it did to Liberia. Thank so, you, Mr. Bush. So I was, I'll end right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do a piece of job and leave a mark. That's okay. right. Go ahead, Mr. Magnus. All right. I mean, I listened to the president today, and I listened to the speech he gave. I think... It was powerful. And those are the kind of speeches we're looking for from president, from presidents. I'm not I'm not saying it because of the voice, but you could feel the passion in it. And the fact that the president will tell you, you can go to Ghana every time that the, that the player can go for vacation, go look at the country. Everybody sending their children now to Rwanda to school. What did it take them? It took their commitment. If you want a good thing, you got to be committed. You got to respect what the country, you got to respect the, you got to respect the country and, 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 and put some, and, and put some commitment to doing, to, to, to seeing the country develop. Don't be stealing government car. They put cross around the road. They put cross around the road to face road. You go, you scoop it from there. You go put it behind your house or sell it. Yes, it happy on the Japan freeway. Don't lie, friends. Eh? Seriously, the port. Friends, who's who's there? I mean, somebody, somebody. I mean, I think I'm coming for you. Okay. In a in a in a in a dream. People putting people putting trash in the dream. I mean, I live in community before where when rain fall. I don't know if any of you are living more than your experience. When rain fall, people take the trash and put it in the in the running in the in the in the in the in the gutter for the water to sweep it away. And we and the water will yell, and the water will take the trash and carry right on the road. Yeah, pack it right on the road. So I mean, if we want to see America like anything. We want to see Liberia like, like in other developed country, we got to put in the work. Like I so, Magna, you think, um, for the way JMB is speaking, or you, do you think he's hearing all these, um, Tabata that is being flown around that, um, oh, you can't do this, get rid of this people, get rid of that person because they were against this person? You think he's, he's, he's hearing some of these things? I don't think he's listening to that thing. That, that thing, that no, thing. but I mean, are you, what, what you think he's hearing it? Yes, I mean, 
it, yes, I mean GMB, GMB monitor. A GMB use a bit monitoring spoon, then they they hit the, the election, you won't know. But the thing about it is like like I always say, Liberia for Liberia to develop, we got to we got to we got to we got to attack the mindset of the people. The mindset of Liberia is very terrible. The mindset of we Liberians is terrible. Like you see, one person said that said that that they have they have said I can't even divide the money, man. Nothing grow can follow the Liberia. The mindset, the mindset. Like somebody posted, they say we got it. We got it. The famous phrase in Liberia said that government thing. It means when 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 Liberia meant that government thing, it means treat it any kind of way you want to treat it. It doesn't matter. Until we have a leader, yeah, like until we have a leader like JMB as he's speaking, who is going, who 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 will put his foot down and set that foundation and set that basis, like like the Kwame Nkrumah did, like like the, the people did in in very country, the Kwame Nkrumah the before born then they in Cote d'Ivoire, the Kwame Nkrumah did in 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 in, uh, 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 in Ghana. And and what's his name? Jerry Rollins here and, 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 and built on upon that. With Liberia is now gonna develop the only president we have close to that was Torbo. And we took him down. And since then we never had direction, we lost direction. We thank you, Magnus. Go ahead, um, Francis. Yeah, um, I saw you know what I saw today from that from the public leadership. Yeah, I saw a jealous man, constructive jealousy, right? Constructive jealousy. You see now, you see Africa, you see Ghana, and Papi say, I want my country to be like this. That is about jealousy we're talking about. But we get leaders there that will travel the world and when they come back home, they don't bring any of those innovation back home. Or maybe they see it, they say, ah, I can do the thing here, but if I do it, how about, we, how about we, uh, uh, that budget will leave for me to steal it? So I, now, I will not do it. Because if I face the thing here, the next person that comes behind me, they, they will not have to face the road, but I already not face it. So I will be the loser. That's how they get thing, oh. I will be the loser when I face the road. The African behind me, the African will steal the money that's all in the road, but I already not face it. Instead of thinking that, oh, my children will be on a bus. That would drive and I wanted to drive on a good road. No, the thing about what they can see. I mean, I'll talk briefly to the on the phone. We'll talk about even transportation ministry or whatever. Think about implementing toll proof on major highway. The revenue collect, uh, collected from, from the, uh, this toll booth will maintain the road. So the following year budget doesn't have to be heavy because you want to construct road or maintain road. So our people don't have constructive justice. And I want to say President Parker face today, I want to say the papier, is the last bus stop for Liberia. After the papier leave office and nothing changed, we are doomed. But God forbid, the papier left the executive mansion and drove over there to the, to the people's office to, tell, to remind them. Hey, John, we are set up the same committee when he came in office uh, as a recovery. Did anything happen? No. But the puppet drove to them to remind them, to motivate them, and give them a reason. For someone that play football, but you know, of course, really set you down and tell yourself, man, we need this game. There's a reason we need this game. That's what the puppet was doing today. He told them, look in my face, Colo Colo, I'll send you an email or full message saying, oh, go, go to as I recovery. No. I'm telling you right here, our country needs this. Because if you all the money that they'll collect, all the assets that they'll possibly see, that one less building that need to be constructed by the government for office or for home, uh, residential homes for, for, for people of low income to be able to rent. You see? So, I mean, the puppet, that project gave you long life. So, for instance, why do you think um, JMB has already given this tax to these people? Why do you think he's not just sitting back and watching instead of he? He, he's checking on them, like kind of like you know micromanaging them and, and stuff like that. Why do you think he's doing this? I don't even really say micromanaging because it's almost like someone who controls. No, kind of like yeah. Control. I, I yeah. get what you say, but the public campaign, but the president campaign on 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 really our corruption from our from our uh, our, our, our system. 
So he's just trying to show the people how serious he is. He's not going to say, oh, go do the injustice on the inside. Force. People can walk into gum at the same time. He walks slowly, but he carry a big stick. So he said, Dick, you have to do this. You can see the passion in his face. And the sadness also, when he spoke about, when he mentioned Africans, he mentioned Rwanda, he mentioned Ghana. He's, you can see the sadness in his face. And when you look at the, somebody mentioned like, uh, Mr. Rwanda talk about the people living on the hill. And it's a landlocked country. I'm saying you were right? <laughs> Rwanda is a landlocked country. Liberia, we have over 300 or so more coastal land uh, 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 of, of beautiful beaches. Our country is bigger than Jamaica. But Jamaica's entire economy is based on tourism. Liberia, we have a lot more uh, 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 things to offer the world in Jamaica when we, when we just develop our country. People will pour in. You got people running from America going to, to, to kind of think of Avi Kamara uh, and uh, New Orleans. Uh, since, uh, I don't know if he's still in Liberia or not, but think of he's, 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 he's in Liberia. Maybe he will come back and maybe he will try to do some sport. But look at our past president. I we talk about, like I said, you reached the peak, even though you didn't play in the World Cup, but you reached the highest peak in football, world best. And then look at under his leadership, what our country ranking went to, it dropped under him. Thank you for it. It dropped under him. What did he do for this? I want to make a point on this stuff. Thank you. you. Know? So, yeah, um, um, as for the as for Cooper, I, I, I agree with you. I think he's trying to motivate them. And he doesn't want it to be like the last, you know, because everyone keeps saying, oh, Josh, we are started at, where did it go? This is not going anywhere. This is just a charade and stuff like that. So my uh, uh, thing is, I think he's trying to like motivate them and, and make sure this works. And he, because this is something that he campaigned on and he really wants it to work. And, and one of the library people to trust and believe in whatever his campaign or what, uh, uh, something that he did. You don't want people to think that it's, you know how people say, oh, this is, we see this all the time, right? It's just talk, 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 sweet talk. That's all we've seen all the time. We get it. We have seen it ourselves and our country have not moved anywhere. But because, <laughs> because it has been happening all the time, we cannot give up that one person cannot come up and change that, you know, narrative. So people keep on it and you have to have the right mindset. You have to have a positive thinking. Yes, it will get better. If we keep saying that, oh, it won't get better because it's something that it both, guess what? We pray that God doesn't listen to those people and we pray that he give our president the strength to continue to do what he's doing and, and you know, and just don't listen to the noise and do the right thing. That's all. So, um, yeah. So can yeah. we can we go to the lines and take some calls? Uh, our folks out there want to participate. Uh, mm -hmm. let me try to put the numbers up. Let's see, can I just make a quick point? It's something I want to say. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear you. A second. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's just something, you know, you know, when I first came to the country in 20, I think 2012, when I entered Chicago, it was during the winter. So when I got in the car, the, the guys I came to pick up on were driving on the road. You know, it just when you have passion for something while driving, I think it was in the window. You can't even see the road, road, but I could feel the way the car was driving. So the guys were in the car. I asked them questions and none of them never answered my questions. And up to this day, I want answer to that question. And Joe brought like, kind of, you know, allude to that question today. When we're driving, I asked the, two, the three or four gentlemen, is this the country that all oh, our president our past president can come front and rule us in Liberia. This the cat quiet for the 12 many. Then the other guy said, Man, you just come say that you're fresh. I mean, in our Liberian tomb. So I like, I mean, I couldn't just comprehend coming from places like America and ruling country like Liberia and looking like that. And the street looking like that. And where we were driving that day, I mean, I couldn't I couldn't just imagine. So Joe Barker is kind of alluding to everything that I was thinking. And today, today, if I were president of Liberia, that's exactly what I would be doing. And I'm going to go one day. So he doing. Oh, this is your oh, goal? So, 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 so,
You want you want that JMB job for me? <laughs> you know, I just say, man. I mean, I just like that. Yeah, you know. Of course. Okay, okay. so so so. so I'll be the lord. Just say, man, man, we're camping, yeah. I'm not camping, yeah, lady. Sure. Yeah, lady. <laughs> Yeah, so let's let's go to the lines and take some calls. Please call uh, call us up only on WhatsApp. Please don't place a direct call to that number. And um, you can call us up on WhatsApp. They're using the number on the screen there. And uh, I'm into lab, lab and, Say it's called going from here now back home. I thought you said that it wasn't working. Facebook. And oh well, Rudolph, how do you think we're having the show? It's happening, Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph, Rudolph, no, 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 Rudolph, Rudolph. How do you think we're having the show, Rudolph? Nelson, <laughs> no, no, you see some kind of uh, okay. internet. I mean, like, satellite, like, I don't know, something, something you working. Yeah, 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 yeah. At some point, at some point, we we're using satellite here, even to start the show, but then the internet got restored. But let's take the, the this call. Hello. All right, Nelson. <clears throat> yes, sir. Let's hear you. Uh, thank you very much. This is for look, man. It takes a leader to strengthen the minds and the decisions of country. Hmm. We are one hundred and seventy-seven on broken years. <coughs> Excuse me. Since our independent eighteen forty-seven, the question to all of you: What can we point at? At this time to say since 177 years this is what we have done we we have existed we as a country for 177 yeah, years are, yeah we have existed as a country mm -hmm. we give birth to all african countries and some middle east country and other countries around the world we fought for them we fought for them. We gave them the right. Okay. As so, the women say regularly today, look at Africa 1963. Africa 1963. Look at Nigeria. Okay. Look at Ghana. I, I'm trying to point out something. I beg you, Nelson. Look at Ghana. The Ghanaians used to leave Ghana and come to Liberia for food, for work. Africans country around us used to call us small American. What is the tangible that people will point out today? Okay. We so we, we will hold you there. We, see, we seriously run out of time and uh, there are so many calls. You, you want to just conclude in uh, 20 seconds. Okay. So for, for this reason, we have gotten a leader that says in a quote, don't mind the noise in the market. If you mind the noise in the market, you will not buy the good fish. You will buy rotten fish. He has given all the zeal and the opportunity. Thank you. To listen, to learn from him. Thank, Thank you very much, Nelson. Thank you. Let's take another call here. Hello, you're live. Let's hear you, sir. Are you on the line? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You're live. Let's hear you. Go ahead. Hey, now saying it's Tommy. Hey, just want to say uh, thanks for taking my call. And thanks to everybody on the panel for a great discussion. I uh, just have two quick points I want to make. The first one is I want to commend the president for really encouraging his team. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, leadership is an interesting thing. You know, the potential of the leadership is a direct reflection of the quality of your habits. You know, if you're a leader, and you promote mediocrity, your team is only going to produce mediocrity. If you're hands off, guess what? The team's going to be hands off. If you show up to work late, guess what? The team's going to show up late. So for the president to encourage his team today to go out, give him the task and the mandate to do that. Tough, tough, tough job. We have to commend him. The last thing I want to say is uh, for my brother, I think his name is Alfred, my senior brother. I'm so sorry because I have to disagree with him. Small. I might be brought up so you know I want to show some more respect. But I disagree with him on his assertion about um the senator. And what Senator Coleman was saying, he was basing that from his perspective. Um, I think we have to be careful. We can always applaud people when they're saying things that are in our favor or in favor of our political party. 
when uh, you know the light was first senator. Uh, the CDC people said the same thing against him. Like, oh my God, I can't believe he's speaking up, he's doing this, he's doing that. I think we need to encourage people like Senator Connor to speak his truth. If he's coming out and saying something like that, it means yes, to prove you to it that none of us okay. have that. So we okay. need to be careful not to give him a mask. Thanks for the time, yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you. Let's take another call here. Hello. Um, it's good to have you on Soiree. Are you here? Can you hear me? Sorry. Thank you, brother. Uh, let me say good evening to all of your panelists, especially to the lone female, my own sister, Ami. Quickly to the two basic topics. Let's start at the beginning from the Senate, how the Senate been proceeding. But uh, legislative politics is quite different. But the question I want to ask myself or all of us is, are they doing perfectly good? We say no, there are some mistakes, yes. But can we give the flower to them? Yes. Because during those days or in the past, we we now used to see Senate being transparent and kind of building with the people like we're doing. I mean, yes, it has not been everything has been committing, committing, and that's why Yagi has all told one. Those committing that you see in the prison, they are just created on the basis of doing things. But how can those things be like real to us, we as people? It okay. is showing on the mainstream to make it more transparent. Kudos to them. I mean, we can make progress. On the issues of uh, uh, the second issue that has to do with um, the president, when I listen to the president, I listen to a leader. When I listen to a president, I listen to somebody who wants him to see Liberia out here. We, where we used to see some of these things before in the past? No. I mean, people get on the basis. Somebody can tell now, somebody can conclusively conclude that we can say now, you are told that the fire has a recovery team on the basis of men should read because we never see some level of transparency in, in terms of leader encouraging people on this thing. Okay. So it's a good show. I think there's no time in our favor. Let's keep doing it. Afra, Lee, Amarco, and people sort of like get some level of recognition at the span of saying something that they that they feel within their mind. It is true. Do that give him a chance to speak a critical mind? So our government can do the best. Thank you very much to you guys. It's a very good show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Sari. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You call your sister. I mean, TV time before you end the call. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, you Sari. <laughs> That's you jealous. Your brother. <laughs> My brother in Christ. <laughs> okay, so we have to we have to go. Um, I think we will hold we'll end the calls here and uh, come back to do our closing. Yes, so let's start, let's start from down and then, and then we go up. So, thank you, everyone. We can start with you and then we go to Rudolph, Alfred. And... Well, gentlemen, it's been a good show. You know, we always come here to enlighten our people and to say what we know and to do the best for our country. That Our president always already said it to us tonight that we have to be committed to Liberia, to build Liberia, and help Liberia grow. And nobody else will do it for us beside us. We have to do it for our country. We're not keep taking from Liberia, and we can never get back to that land. We got to get back to the land now. It is time to do it. Joe Barker will start it, and the young generation is a challenge to us to continue the process. So I would say the access uh, thing, uh, I call it, I always forget that name, but the, the recovery the, 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 as a recovery team, I think it's a good thing for them to, to continue that job. And the, the president said, be committed to what you're doing. If you're doing it, look at your neighbor, look at around you, look at around the globe, how people living in that country. And make Liberia one of those countries to be talking about. Make Liberia a tourism site. Liberia got a beautiful places that we need to invest our time and our money into. So our country can be on the war front once in a lifetime. So you see, all the big people in this America, those football player, basketball player, when they wake up these days, they all want to go to Ghana. Why it can't be Liberia? And we got all the beautiful things going on. Even Liberia food alone. If those people come here and taste some of those food in Liberia, they will always want to come by because they're one of the best food in the world. So uh, our peoples are very generous. So I, I gave that to Liberians, you know. So 
that 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 do best for our country. I will stop there. Well enough. Oh, oh, okay, yes, yeah, sorry. You know, I am waiting for you guys to call my name because I am being law about it now. So, oh, God. <laughs> but you know, um, I have said this before on this show, and I will say it again. From the, the way JNB is proceeding, I am beginning to put him on a pedestal of some of Africa's great Malimu Nyerere of Tanzania, because this is how this, this started when he ushered Tanzania into independence. He said to to take strong decisions like this. The legs of Kwame Nkrumah, when he ushered Ghana into independence, he did Lee Kuan Yew. The legs of the Don't legs forget about of, Lee Kuan Yew. Uh, Lee Kuan Yew. <laughs> you got hey Nelson. They are taking my, my time though, so they they know that I will get more time. The legs of 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 this guy from uh from Zamb Zambia. Uh, what's his his name? David. Kawunda, when these guys took office, because of the love they have for their countries, they, I mean, they took some strong and tough decisions. They had the courage, just like JMB. So that's why every time I say this, some people say, oh, it's too soon. But this is the, the same 14 that I, I see JMB going on. And that's why I, I keep saying this. But Nelson, um, you know, I, I mean, I wasn't given the chance to say what, what was on my mind when I, I started the show. So I, I will just put it in my ending statement, right? You know, um, I think I am beginning to um, to question why is it that we haven't yet had superintendents for the various counties? I think so far we have had just two or three. I, I and I think it is, it is something that we need to know what is going on. I think it needs to be addressed by the president's office. But apart from Thank that, JMB is doing great. And we pray that he continue on, on this path. Thank you. Konoa? Yeah, thank you. I will begin from the last point from my brother, Rudolf, when it comes to the issue of superintendent. If you listen to the president's uh, State of the Nation address, he talked about the revitalization of the local government. And I believe the process is on. We want to make sure that we can decentralize the government so that development can go into the Liwa counties. Because if you are if, if your superintendent is being elected, it means that this the, the county that superintendent comes from, he will make sure he'll be working in the interest of that county. He will not be working in the interest, or I mean, he will not be working at a will of a president. Where what he's supposed to do, he will not do it because he feels scared that one day someone a president will just come and fire him. So I think the process is going on. Let's give Mr. Baga the opportunity to be able to look at everything, every work of life uh, that has to do with our census and everything that has to do with the, you know, the, the, the superintendency. So I would just urge you to keep calm. Sooner or later, you will hear something coming from the executive mansion. Now, uh, to my two brothers that I called with regards to my my my, my well-learned uh, uh, Senator Amaras Kone, uh, we are in a difficult situation. We are in a difficult time. You know, as a person who, who speak to the issue of accountability, I will argue that given his present proximity to the presidency, he should play a more role of an advocacy with the president, making sure that he can talk to the president, but coming always on the social media as a means of, you know, uh, uh, expressing his, his quote-unquote free mind, I think it's, it's not good for his, his, his political career. Because if we continue to do this, they can say the chi when, when the chicken wedding for any real or we all voters of our but, but, but why why should the librarian people change only because someone is speaking their mind? No, that's in nursing. Sometimes if you feel that you're so critical on something and, 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 and you know very well at the end of the day you have a political agenda, I mean, I'm a politician, I speak as a politician on this show here. I don't want Kone to have a political agenda against the rescue mission. That's my problem with the all the plenty of talking he's doing. That's my problem there. But if he's, he's very true to what he's saying, that's a good thing. But if he has a political agenda to, to get political re relevant, to get political uh, uh, plurality, then that's a problem for me. It's a problem for me. Okay? Now, let me close on, on this. 
um, if you go in history and you look at what true leaders have done for that country, I will give an example of Lee Kuan Yew, 1965, when he became <laughs> when he became the prime minister. You know what he he symbolized when he took office. Look, all those I forget, never disappoint me. Let me end. Let me end, Nelson, please. Let me. End. It's very important. Let me let me say it's very him. important. Right into it. It's very important that I end on this. This is a man he symbolized purity. All those that took off it with Lee Kuan Yew in 1958, they wore white clothes. Everybody was dressed in white to tell the people of Singapore that this country that is called terror, we are committed to removing this narrative from our country. No corruption will be here to the extent when he began when he took power. They, they had to do lifestyle order to individuals and their children, children, everybody in the family. Today, look at Lee Kuan Yew. We need serious people. And I'll just hope, I'll just hope that Mr. Baka will remain on this trajectory. He will have the courage to deal with people who have stolen from the people so long that they, 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 got, they have become used to, to, to stealing, that nothing can happen in the country. This asset recovery team, we, we, we are behind you you all do the right thing for that role once and for all. That we are, we all can be proud of this country that we can come home and invest in our country. When I speak to you, I have a home in Liberia that I'm constructing. You think I want to come home one day? You think I want to come to a country where everything is head or scattered? That's not what we are here for. We are advocating for a better Liberia. Thank you so much, Nelson. My man, they are uh, under the yeah, you man. You can you think, yeah, one so, 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 like, so, Amy, like, Amy, Amy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think I think we have we have we have to ban that name that Lee Kuan Yew. Wait, wait, Lee Kuan Yew. Nothing, you nothing you you associated you with Lee. <laughs> why you want? To, why you want to to use an Asian leader to be an, an example to an, an African leader? That's why I went to Africa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Can give me shit. I, 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 let yeah. me let me let me give it. We we thought I went back. I mean, yeah. Uh, thank thank you guys. It's been a great show, and I mean, it's it's wonderful being here with all of you. And I mean, my closing point is like, uh, I just want to close uh, on this note. I mean, we all saw what happened today in Liberia. Although it was it it, it turned to a matter of joke, but it's not joke. Um, the shutdown of all tele telecommunication services today to some West African countries and some so, so, some African countries. Let me just put it that way. It just exposed how vulnerable we are as a continent and how dependent we are as a continent. And it shows to me today that our leaders are not thinking proactive proactively, but they're always reactive. And in that light, while I was, while, before I just came on the show, Sierra Leone right next door uh, signed uh, granting license to, to Starlink, Elon Musk Starlink to start operating in, in Sierra Leone. So that's all they waited for. That's all they, they, they were waiting to see. So it is now time for our leaders to start to start thinking ahead. What if this happened? What 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 are our emergency plans? What are our alternative plans? We don't we don't have any of these things. So I think it is time. Like I said the last time on the on the, on, the, on I think yesterday on the show here, JMB been naming naming his his cabinet and all his official all his advisor. I've never heard any advisor for for RCT. And the war now is going, we are in a, we are in a data economy now. We are going to the technological uh, uh, revolution. There is no plan, there is no strategy around, around RCT uh, 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 for the entire Liberia. 
I think it needs serious attention. I mean, with the rest of, you know, what happened today with this course, eh? GMB is on the right path. And with the confirmation, my brother, if we are sitting here expecting that the Senate will sit two hours, two hours, three hours, three hours, or 5,000 persons, we are joking. The people, the people wanted to grill. The people, the people wanted to, the people that had the, the positions that came with a lot of responsibility, they, they took their time to grill those people. The rest of them, we're not saying they're not important, but they don't carry that, their position, don't carry that much responsibility. So, I mean, they will just put the seven of them together and just confirm them. So, I mean, thank yeah. you. So, yeah. Mr. Uh, well, it was a great show. The topics discussed tonight, very meaningful to our country. Look, uh, I look on this show, I see a lot of young people that are preaching, talking for a better Liberia. I'm optimistic that Liberia will become better one day, very soon. I'm very optimistic that although the generation before us may have failed us, we are on the right path to not fail the generations after us. We have the greatest responsibilities as a people to ensure that what has happened to some of us. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uncle Ruda. That what has happened to some of us will not happen to those coming after us. I said here before. Some of these countries that we are naming today, Ivory Coast, they had their disagreements. They did not go after their infrastructure. They did not break down the electricity, hydro. They didn't destroy the road. They didn't destroy buildings. They went after individuals. And when the war was over, their infrastructure was still standing to be built upon. And that's why it was easier to move in a fast space. Liberia was doing a lot better than Ivory Coast. Even the Avorans will tell you that. I have family from Ivory Coast. I'm from Grand Guinea, right across the border of my family. They will tell you before your war that to your place we used to go and get things. Those that came before us failed us. And I'm not saying all of them, but that group that could have settled their issues differently, fail us. We must not fail those coming after us. JMB's speech that I heard tonight is settled in. But often we have also heard people make good speeches. We will now hold JMB accountable to take actions. Let the voice not lead, but let his actions lead. It's not going to be easy. We have a country that has been damaged for many years. We have people that are used to stealing. We have people that just don't want a better Liberia. They just want it for themselves and their family. So it's not going to be easy. But with the right leader, with the strong mindset, with the laws in place, enforcing them, things will change. And once things start to change, people start to go to prison for their actions against the country. We start to get back things that were stolen. The mindset of Liberians will start to change. But until that can happen, people will still believe, always believe, that it is okay to steal from Liberia and go free. 
It is a shame that when Sandy is appointed to government, he will take with him, when he's leaving government, the government car, government computer, government desktop, government table, government chair. We saw videos of senators and representatives that were defeated, clearing their offices. Government photocopy. Government photocopy. Government printing machine. <laughs> government coast. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys it was a good show man you know um think about jmb kino post saying that gary so that's the, that's the problem and i said it several times before the election that for true accountability to be uh, uh brought back to our country we need to go back to electing superintendents and city mayors because if you have a unity party president and a CDC superintendent in in, 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 in Grand Gillette, you can't lie and say you sent county fund to Grand Gillette. The superintendent said, well, that lie. We receive nothing. That's why our county has not been developed. But when they continue to appoint superintendents, appoint city mayors, these people are beholden to the president. They don't, they are, they are not obligated to do what in the best interest of the of, of the people in their cities or their counties, because they cannot be fired unless the president decides to change them. But if they have to come up for re-election every two years or every four years, whatever the case may be, these people will be on the straight and narrow because they know that their election is based on uh, um, how successful a county is or how well of a job they are doing in, in their counties. You know, so it's very important that we go back to that system of electing superintendents and city mayors. Uh, our people have suffered too long, but thank God, I will say this again, the very last bus stop, JMB. If we do not rally around JMB as a country, you can be a citizen, unity party, saying whatever the case may be. Your great, great grandchildren will not know who you are voting for at that time because what we do today will impact our generations in the future. We saw what happened. You know, other countries that were colonized, the colonizers came and they built roads and bridges because they had to travel throughout the country. So I, I would give Liberia a little bit of an excuse because the infrastructure most of these other countries are benefiting from today were laid by colonizers uh, uh, decades ago, that was not the case for Labro, but still, yeah, that's collecting taxes ever since. My man, I think let me that one, that you know, is not an excuse, and it was pretty good for that thing, too, my man. So, <laughs> so, 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 so for that I know, I know, oh, you know, know for that thing, <laughs> I ain't saying protect me. I got two days to speak. Oh. Yeah, let me do this, please. Anyway, just, just to wrap up, man, you know, it's about time that we have a serious leader that put the country first. I mean, yes, wars are good, but we want to see action. And that's why we are not going to take our foot off the pedal. We are going to keep our foot on the pedal, keep uh, and, and looking at this uh, Joseph Barker government because we cannot have food for him to, to fail. His failure is our failure. It will be very detrimental to the future of our country. Some of us that have uh, uh, having projects going on back home that we want to go home one day and sit there and work also other people. We don't want to be sitting here or uh, hearing uh, our fellow African-Americans talking about going to Africa, but they don't even know the country Liberia until we tell them from Liberia, all the African-Americans that live in the trust area, Thank you. they know Liberia. But you know, Liberia should be on the map. Where Thank you. People from everywhere want to go there and enjoy our country. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Very thank, very you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me, I, right? I mean, I mean, they are closing already. So, uh, that's the only thing that with me. I don't know why you have to try me every night. Oh, but I thought you they are closing. You want a comment section to come for you? I mean, that's that's right, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'll come as you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding him. Let <laughs> me take one minute to do your closing, please. So, yeah. Friends, I agree with what you said, and I think um, Rula said a similar thing about um, <laughs> that. But it though, but it's a nothing's best stop. 
so, so um, um, you know, our people, the mindset, right? We we need all the changes, all the development and stuff, but the mindset of our people also needs need to change. Like when our brother uh, Maba came here with a street selling thing, and oh, the people voted. We spent money. We do the one year and do the one. Year. So you know, some of our people they feel like when you vote for somebody, you support somebody. They're supposed to GMB supposed to allow all the lawlessness. Like oh, these people supported me, so let me let them be all, you know, doing whatever they want and not take any action. When you take action, oh. We're not supposed to vote for you. We're not supposed to. It's 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 disturbing. And then um, I I watched a video doing a campaign. Uh, district number one or number three, I think Grand Bassa. I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somebody was saying they were showing a clinic, right? That the the last representative built, and then the one that came after him, they were saying that he refused to to to, to you know continue to sponsor that clinic because he doesn't want the guy that left to look good. When he, you know, funding the clinic to be running, for everything to be okay, then the praises will be going to that guy who built the clinic, the last rep representative. And I'm sitting there like, oh my God. And then people were in that town, nowhere to go to the hospital. They have to walk, go far away to go to the hospital. Look at that kind of mindset. Of somebody instead of you, you know, adding on to what your uh, 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 predecessor left, you going on and the next person come and add on it, and that's how we develop. No, since I didn't do it, I don't want the other guy to look good. Maybe he might come back to run against me, and the people might vote for him and stuff. So, those are the things, and it, it's just so sad. Our so called leaders have that same mindset, and we need to change it. We have the changes for our country to go forward. You, we first have to rehabilitate the people's mind. That's the only way when we do anything good, the they, they new leadership do, does anything good in the country. That's the only way they're going to maintain it. You heard, Magna, they'll say, oh, that government property. Who told you you're not supposed to take care of government property? That is yours. And like the people that were, uh, that knew better doing the world, so people would be like, oh, that's do something. And then they'll go and break it down. Oh, they want to do this, that do that. When Doa coming from two zone, did he bring Kolai with him? That's not for him. And now the war is over. We are the ones suffering it. Why? Because infrastructure, why? Everything is damaged. So the mindset of our, of our people, of our people, is not just sometimes leadership, they, do, they, 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 they come in and not do, but the mindset also, unless, and I heard Ellen just on cable running under the water, uh, fiber cable or whatever, when she was there. People swam under that water and stole those cables in for under the water. And then, <laughs> oh my God, some of the things when you hear it, you just sit there and be like, my country, uh, or that uh, human being in my country, or it's just, you You just stand there and just be, you, know, you just be like, oh my God, what is going on in our country? So we pray not only for the leadership to do the right thing, but the people as well. We maintain the right thing, we help out, we support the leadership to do those things. And we really, really hope and pray, not just, oh, the government, the leader, the government, we ourselves as people, we have a role to play. And I, and I hope you yourself, citizen, Hold yourself accountable as well. Take care of little things that will be done in your community. Take care of it and let it last. That's how development, the next person come will continue from there. Not for you to just treat it anyhow, put trash in a water, you know, drainages when they build uh, roads and stuff. And you think that the government is supposed to come after to your house and clean up after you take those trash out or do something? No, we have to. Take uh, 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 we all oh, it has to be a collective effort to move Liberia forward, and I hope. Thank you. And really pray that we all can have that mindset from now. We come in, we will help you, but you'll be doing it first. Thank you, Nelson. So you want to bring work uncle? Bring your damn work uncle. Don't be speaking your stinking boy every day. Listen, thank you. But the work uncle is not intended just for you. Yeah. But, but the other yeah. thing is mine. The other thing is for me. Bring it. I know it's not coming. There's not a way to bring work back You go through processes, legal processes. You don't talk about things on the floor when you see me. When you see me. Now, is there to so go you want to bring work back Bring your damn work back Don't be speaking your stinking boy every day. Thank you. No, but the work back is not intended just for you. Yeah. But the other thing is mine. 
The whole thing is for me. Bring it. I know it's not coming. There's not a way to bring work back home. You go through processes, legal processes. You don't talk about things on the floor when you see me. When you see me. Now see the child looking for you get it. Yeah, that's not right. Once yeah, you see yeah, the papi, once that they don't see the papi walk around, walk around. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I want to say thanks to everyone for being here tonight. Um, I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but but honestly, honestly we'll tomorrow. And um, thank you, Francis, for being here. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, uh, Magnus. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, Rudolph. Thank you, Mikael. And thanks to our co-moderator today, man. Um, the Marshall uh, Territory. Uh, yellow. <laughs> Marshall Territory. Uh, uh, thanks to Marshall, Marshall Territory. Uh, but we know the master is it the one I eat. All right, yeah. Well, I don't want you to know how many master territory there is. <laughs> tell him, Sandy. Tell him, uh, uh Francis. No, no, those no, are the new territories. I just let them. Yeah, only please. <laughs> It's still not the territory she left many years ago when she was two years old. Yeah, you know what I've been looking at. And you know what? And you know what? You almost so secure. Oh, her boss, and she got on the panel here to get a living ready. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> ball, and that's my new territory. Don't 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, the board is being Good night, guys. Good night, good night. Folks, that's how we like to draw down the curtains on the show tonight. I'm Nelson Collette. Have a good night. Thanks to the entire team. We'll be here tomorrow with another edition of the show. Until then, have a good night and bye-bye for now. And so I see a lot of people gravitating to government jobs and so forth. In government jobs, yeah, but that's not a solution. The